Side Scrollers is brought to you by Side Scrollers is brought to you by you. If you'd like to support the show, head over to patreon.com slash side scrollers. Time for side scrollers on YouTube.com with me, Stuttering Craig. You got a goal? Go get it. Adam Riggler. Hi, Benny. Wow. Hi, chat. I love you. Mwah. And producer extraordinaire, Travis Key. Hi, guys. And brought to you by you, the G2 community at Patreon.com slash side scrollers. And now broadcasting from our homes, it's time for the number one gaming and entertainment podcast on planet Earth. It's time for Side Scrollers! Five, four, three, two, one. What are you doing? Oh, welcome on out to Side Scrollers on YouTube.com and Rumble.com and Twitch.tv. What's going on, everybody? Hi, I'm Stuttering Craig. Welcome to the number one video game and entertainment podcast on planet Earth. Side scrollers, man, do we got a good one today? We have we have got great guests. Dan Bask is joining us today. Adam Krigler is here. It's Wednesday. It's Adam Day, which is gonna be good. Plot's coming next week. It's gonna be insane. Uh, but man, oh man, we got a lot to talk about today. But first, let's introduce everybody. Hi, Travis Keys. How are you, buddy? Good morning. I'm doing great, it's and I'm here. Great. Yes, you're looking good at that big old white wall behind you. I am white. Wall. Blaz is here. Let's go. Ball. I'm just going with things that we rhyme with. Wall ball. Anyway, I had a really good sandwich about an hour ago, so I'm just really happy. I made an egg sandwich. It was like top tier. Ooh, you had me till you said egg sandwich. You did. What's wrong with eggs? I mean, nothing, but just the egg sandwich. I don't know if I can do that. That's, that's, what do you that's mean? Kind of... You don't know how to make an egg sandwich? I don't want to make an egg sandwich. Why not? It sounds disgusting. Egg on bread. I know. I just don't like. I can have like. You know, scrambled Are eggs. Are you okay? And a piece of t- yeah, I'm great. <laughs> I'm, 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 like, just, just that idea sounds just gnarly and disgusting to me. Uh, th- th- that just doesn't I'm going to make you an egg sandwich one day. I'm going to go fly over to Texas, make an egg sandwich, you're like, eat it, and then you'll you'll be happy. So, Blabs, you're saying you're going to make me a sandwich. Yes, I'm going to um, be very domestic and everything. I'll clean your house, too. <laughs> Is it an egg salad sandwich? No, it's literally just scrambled egg with some pepper. Put some okay. mayonnaise on you're the bread. There you go. Or butter. If you don't want mayonnaise, butter. You're gross. I am not. You're you can even put one. bacon on it. I just you're, didn't put bacon on it. You're like my brothers. when they, they would do weird shit. Like put. I don't put weird shit. Scrambled eggs and ramen noodles and shit. Ew. Why? No, well, and soup maybe, but no. Well, that's weird, but uh, a scrambled egg ketchup sandwich ain't. Ew. <laughs> I can see Adam. Look at him. <laughs> Adam, your thoughts on scrambled egg egg sandwiches? Well, first I want to say, Blabs, I'm 100% on your side here. Ah, I think thank the, you. I think these two guys are they very stuck in their in their food ways, mm-hmm. and they don't like change. They like to keep their comfort zone in their little bubble, and that's fine. Who doesn't like eggs in okay. any way, except on pizza? <clears throat> that that's disgusting. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know yes, who that Dan. is referring to, uh, but. <laughs> E- eggs on a sandwich, though. I mean, what's wrong with that? A little yeah. bit of mayo, sure. Yeah, she didn't say ketchup, by the way, Travis. Yeah. You added that. That's disgusting. Uh, that's that's you mixing in your head, and also eggs in ramen. There's nothing wrong with that. that like, yeah, that's it's really good. What? Wait, what? What's wrong with that? That's good. They're uh, uncultured, Adam. They just ramen? haven't lived around. It's fine. That's it. Blabs just nailed it. They are clearly uncultured swine. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Speaking of pigs, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man, it's look. Not yet. We're, we're, that's later on. Different segment. So hold we're on. Not there. We're not there yet. I want to clarify my stance here, right? Yeah, try me. A scrambled egg, like a scrambled egg, I'm okay with that, right? I, I actually enjoy the scrambled egg. A scrambled egg with toast is fine. I'm actually okay with two pieces of toast with scrambled egg in between them. 
right? Backpedaling bullshit right But where you lose me is the is the mayo. Can't do it. Why not? What? I just don't like mayo. Oh, well, then that's the thing. If you don't like mayo in itself, obviously you're not going to like with anything else. What about Miracle Whip? Is that like whipped cream? Mayo is better than Miracle Whip. What? Miracle no. Whip is just sweet and tangier than mayo. Yeah, it's... I don't know. What is, what is, my, what is Miracle Whip? Miracle Whip is is like... like oh, no. Not Miracle Whip. Um, I was going to say, isn't that like whipped cream? <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. What am I thinking of? Dan, that's the other one. Your thoughts Miracle on Miracle Whip. Whip. Not Miracle Whip. What? The it other is, one. It is Miracle Whip. <laughs> Miracle Whip. <laughs> but Dan, what, what were you just doing? Nothing. Instead hey, of paying glad to be here. Instead of paying attention to the Miracle Whip. <laughs> no, Miracle, hey, miracle hey, Whip. Hey, hold on. I'm, I'm not done with sandwich this. sandwich gang. All the way. Let's Thank go. you. Ah, three gets right. two suckers. Oh. Yeah, I Miracle Whip that. is the mayo thing. Um, you're Miracle Whip of... is the mayo. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know what this is. I was right. What yeah, is mayonnaise miracle... and Miracle Whip. They're they're two different. Miracle one has what? like I don't know what this one is. uses egg whites, and the other one doesn't. Yeah, one I... is so much non egg. Today. It's for people who can't eat eggs. Basically. All right. Oh, okay. All right. I'm, I'm sure. Tuned free, in expecting to learn mayo. about Miracle Whip. You are welcome. I, I'm I sure. see that poll and I instantly just want to click no. But just you know what it you know what it does do? Is it I'm gets people it. to click the I'm thumbs click, up button, I'm, which click, I'm clicking no. Then don't. <laughs> then then click no. You can be the dissenting voice, which is fine. But I'm do still going to give it a thumbs up though. We're trying to get to 300 every show. 300 is the thumbs up <laughs> and 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 if we get to 300, Blabs will blow bubbles. <laughs> I have a bubble machine? <gasps> no, no, I'm just Craig, send me do it just not in my room because then like hey hey y'all you need to keep in mind we're on the internet here people are weird Mm -hmm. that's true you're the only one out of all the audience and all of us that went there it's a good point people were thinking it i just said it out loud no no one was thinking it how many people are in your head right now trev eight there it is right right, exactly figured it out Hey, let's get on this today. Hey, uh, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot. Obviously, Dan is going to be joining us today to talk about uh, his stalker, which is great. And Dan, I don't know if you you know this. We're going to get to that. The balls. balls. Uh, Yeah. Unfortunately. Balls. But before we do. Balls indeed. I want to let you know that we have some hater bucks coming in. Let's go. (laughs) Wolf made fire came in at the 199 says morning y'all oh my god let's go hey morning to you welcome to hater buck central it's side scrollers uh, and check this out star dust viking with the 50 hater bucks just says what i already said it balls 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 balls, balls. wow amazing that was a really good mimic he, he's been go. practicing. I think he wow. goes home and looks in the mirror every single my, day. I, my, my voice is like my 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 job. Uh, that's so true. There you go. All right. Yeah. So hey. if I do like a gum oh. stitch impression, will you learn to do that too? Do it right now. Let's try it. Blabs, go. Balls. Balls. Hey, Balls. <laughs> not no, not bad. I got, I got to practice. Go on the, no, no, no. Hold on. On the fly, no practice, no warm up. You just straight went for it. Very good. Thank more you. Like, it's Thank more like the very seven good. out of ten. Seven, not, six. I can do okay. all of Bohemian Rhapsody in a Stitch Gum voice. Please don't. No, no, we're good. <laughs> oh, why? I why? believe you. I, I believe you. <laughs> I learned gonna, it in high Freddie school. Mercury's I was really proud of myself. Voice. We're gonna veto that idea, Blabs, immediately. Uh, <laughs> just big ups to Stardust Viking with the massive balls. fifty dollar balls super chat to start us off. Thank you so much. We appreciate the uh, the hater bucks coming in. That's awesome. Is it? Is something wrong with the Rumble stream? Yeah, it's not live. People are saying. By the way, I cannot see. I cannot see the live chat right now because those guys for for, for me to go really? there. It's true. Oh, you can't. You can now. I cannot. I cannot see the thumbnail. Go 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 to YouTube. You oh, can, you're allowed. Hold can on, I see on. it now? Will, yeah, I'm gonna no? show you. I'm gonna show you right now. I, I, I want right, to share. gonna show, We're gonna we're gonna see it live together. Yes, 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 absolutely, okay. absolutely. And by the way, do everything anything. everything is working on Rumble. It's on their end because everything's being outputted correctly on StreamYard. So those of you mm-hmm. watching over on Rumble, or I guess you can't hear me, um, everything looks to be fine on our end. So just heads up. Mm-hmm. Okay, here is today's Rumble. thumbnail, which yeah, which uh, Dan has not seen yet. So uh, we're going to be talking about your stalker situation, and I wanted to share this with you. Again, get your initial thoughts. 
Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> now is this an accurate you know, oh, depiction of your stalker? Uh, Does she have a perm? For all I know, it might be. <laughs> well, I can I can answer it for you. It Absolutely. might be Adam all along. <laughs> it's it's a dead ringer. <laughs> it's oh, me. I, I'm your stalker. It's, it, it, it's Adam. He's the I knew it. I, but you're okay with it, right? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you used my my face from the from the April first video I did. <laughs> Listen. I love it. You, you search, you search Dan Vask. You find a good picture of him looking like who? And then you, and then Adam comes in. And he says, "Take a picture of me. I want to be a stalker." And then so we do it. Yeah, that's how it happened. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's exactly how it happened. <laughs> Great. Word for uh, word. Hey, our boy awesome. Cajun Corey came in with that membership. Says, "What's pooping, Dan? What's pooping, Cajun Corey? <laughs> how are you? Pooping. Pretty good. Hey, What's pooping." Obsidian Does. Sinclair also came in with the ten dollar. What, what are we calling him again? We're calling him uh, Hater Bucks. Hater Bucks. Hater says, Bucks. Hey, hope y'all are hope y'all are it well. Makes sense. Since we're on the DSP topic today, did y'all catch his verbal abuse of a fan for asking for an apology? Happened a few days ago. Meerkat Mob has the video worth a watch. No, no, we did not see his verbal Here's abuse of a gift fan. That keeps on giving, isn't it? Um, can you pull up that picture of Dan and Adam again, real quick? <laughs> Oh, sure. Here you go. Doesn't he look like he wants to butter his man bun? <laughs> butter my man bun? I don't see any man buns in the picture, though. Well, say, that's why he, want, he, he, he wants to put my hair in, into a man bun because I don't have it right there. I'll tell you what, though. You I'm know? buttering something. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. no. Is it is it bread okay. with eggs, eggs on it? Is that what we're going for? <laughs> oh, well, that's, that would be butter, eggs. not mayonnaise. All right. Uh, Extra Zero also came in and says, I think Boogie2988 eating mayo out of a jar with a spoon ruined mayo for me for a while. He did that? Uh, hey, speaking of uh, Boogie Extra Zero, I want to give you guys a heads up. Tomorrow's show will not be live. We are going to run the Boogie interview uh, that was on the Geeks and Gamers channel. I have a, a business meeting I got to go to, and so I won't be able to do the show with, uh, with Blab. He, and, just, and he just doesn't want to interview me. Well, so he hit me up the other day, and he was like, you know what? I just, I don't want to do it. I, I don't think you're interesting enough. Yeah, and uh, you're kind of a jackass. You bore me. So I got, I got a meeting. I got, I got, I can't push it back. Uh, you know. So. Well, we push it all the way back to mm -hmm. mark it on your calendars. The Adam Krigler exclusive interview oh, happening, man. happening, August. 31st that is a thursday mark it on your calendar that is uh... oh you know what i i just checked my calendar i got a meeting i got day. a meeting um, oh no i i, I tried uh, the, it's really important gotta follow Ex dan vask around exclusive adam <laughs> yeah. krigler interview. dan's going somewhere i don't know where it is yet and i gotta figure it out <laughs> i love this idea that that you just been secretly watching Dan for years, and like yeah, every time I, you're I on the show, I fly to Brazil on the weekends just to. <laughs> yeah, look out your window. There's a little here. little perch that I've been building. <laughs> it's the Adam bird. <laughs> just, I, I just imagine you perched like Batman on on the on the top, just like looking over, <laughs> just staring at Dan. <laughs> Oddly enough, look that's at that where, man bun. That's where Adam and I actually first met. Was oh, that right? <laughs> well. Oh, the, the oh, second you're here stalker too. reveals himself. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, oh, you like Dan too? Yeah. yeah. I'll use this. It's, the Dan, for it's the Dan Vass fan club. Can you pass me the mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's oh, like, uh, like fucking. I only have Miracle Mary. Whip. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> something about Mary over here. We're, 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 uh, we got Adam over here. He's like scratching because he's all like obsessed with with, with Must Dan over here. Have more man bun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, downpour punch oh, came no. in with the with the nine ninety nine hater box says loving this very robust and meaningful content. Okay, uh, I love a good East Coast Italian style egg sandwich with custom bread and Asian fusion style sauce. Hey, thanks sounds so much, downpour. That, that sounds probably really good, Sam. Nice. I appreciate that. Thanks so much for those hater bucks. And Joe came in to remind us that TMT Shredder's Revenge DLC comes out August 31st. Hey, thank you so much, Joe. Okay. Appreciate that. Oh, we got to continue that run. 
You mean the same day that we're doing the Adam Krigler interview? Holy oh, shit. Oh, he might have to cancel. What is it? Well, I, that's my meeting. <laughs> the DLC, me He's the already DLC. canceling. TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, look, we got a lot to talk about. We're going to be uh, getting into Dan Stalker today. Our good old friend Darkside Phil is at it again, uh, which we're going to be chatting about that. Just a little little uh, quick hit there. Uh, Kotaku has seen a leadership change, and I thought it'd be fun to talk about uh, some video game movies and uh, why one exists, as Henry Cavill has been cast. So we'll get into that in just a little bit. But... Before we do, I want to remind you guys to head over to the brand new Side Scrollers Plays channel and uh, go join us over there because today Blabs is going to be returning to Sonic the Hedgehog, the original. It's Blabs versus Sonic Day 2. Mm -hmm. uh, God, and it was painful to watch. Was right. not. Look, 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 look. All right. I He did a terrible job of coaching you. I got to just say, Blabs, it wasn't all your fault. Um just, I just want to say, real quick, I just want to say, if you're moving forward as Sonic, you could just press down and you start, you turn into a ball. So instead of having to like jump on she things, didn't that, know that? you could just run forward didn't I do that last and hit week? down. Well, there was a lot of times where it would make sense that the coach would have said, hey, instead of trying to jump on these guys with spikes and they have that little spot, you could just run forward and hit down and roll into them and kill them. Uh, so, you know. Craig has a question. Uh, yes, Craig. Uh, Coach didn't know that, so <laughs> so <laughs> so coach couldn't wow. have helped her there. That, that makes it worse. Wow, why yeah. are you coaching her for this game? Then I'm just to be clear, I'm not actually coaching her. He's I'm yelling just, at me. I'm just along for the ride. I'm yell just at her, yelling right? at her. <laughs> <laughs> why do you suck, Blabs? <laughs> My favorite was she found a secret spot, and then like to go back, you have to go all the way back to the beginning of the lava. You remember this? And and she like jumped up on a platform and the and the the block kept moving and she goes now what <laughs> and Craig's just like well <laughs> but I don't remember exactly what he said but it was, it so was funny. like from Finding Nemo well, well now what now. <laughs> I was legit laughing it was, it was a glorious moment so that is today after Tune the in. stream yes Tune over, in. over on the news it's really fun to laugh at them both. Yes, the new Side Scrollers Play channel over there. We are approaching 3,000 subscribers over there. We'd love for you guys to join us. And because because after we stream, we go over there and play some video games. And coming up on Friday with Dan here, we have a we're gonna try something out. We're gonna try it out. Dan, tell tell everybody what's going on. Well, we, I've been pestering Craig for a long time, like policing him on his retro gaming uh, principles. I, I I should say because we the on police, the retro, retro gaming, police. Yeah. We on the retro gaming community, we have a set of principles that guides us through life. Okay. He's a governor, so, by the way. Yeah. So, no safe states allowed. No rewind allowed. That's and big no you should no. strive. You should strive to to make the experience as legit as possible. For example, Craig said, "Hey, I could I could have just uh, leave the 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 console on." and go to sleep and the next day I would still be able to play from that same place where I stopped the last time okay mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. I'm the retro gaming police is here to say things like okay Craig you can do that but you need to stream it the whole time to prove it so that sort of stuff the retro gaming police is here to police you and maintain you true to the retro gaming spirit so me and Craig decided to transform this into a show and test Craig's skills in retro gaming and police him to maintain him true to the spirit of retro gaming. That's happening tomorrow. The retro gaming Friday. police show. Friday. 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 That's happening Listen, Friday. Dan doesn't know the days of the week yet. It's all right. I don't. We're working sorry. on it. Yeah. Now, to be, to be clear, home. and to be so, clear, this was actually inspired by a G2 who suggested this in the comments exactly. dur during a stream. And it was like, absolutely, let's make it happen. So uh, very, very excited for that. So that'll be on Friday. Be awesome. So we got the streams afterwards. Go go to the Side Scrollers Place channel and check it out. And what is the challenge for Friday? Beat Castlevania, the NES Castlevania, the one that Blabs took forever, uh, doing like eight weeks. Beat Castlevania without continuing. Is that correct? Yes. No game over run. 
Castlevania NES. There we go. Got to give it a yeah, go. Yeah, whatever. What, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, man. Um, Labs, that's your opportunity for vindication. What? To go watch, and do watch, like, no, a No, watch him through? fail. It's to ah, watch go him and make fail. fun of him for fail, Can you failing. Can you put me miserably. like in stream Unless yards? Unless he doesn't, then you'll you do better. You should bring me in stream oh, yards. I'll just shit all over you. We need to switch you. positions. Because what, what did I? he have over his head? Craig, remind me. What what did you have over Coach, the top of your head? <laughs> what was that? What, retro was gaming master? Or something retro, like that. I thought it was retro gaming god or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, pompous yeah, yeah. shit like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, absolutely. I found that interesting. So we'll see. So can I be like... um? Just the talk shitter. Yeah, you can be the talk, talk shitter. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's actually your, a phrase. That's your um, function. That's yeah. your role. The 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 shitty talker. Yes, that, that's, yeah, that's that. absolutely what you need to do. Hey, uh, <laughs> Obsidian. Laughing. Let's go read off some of these super chats real quick before we get into uh, all the news that everybody cares about. Uh, Obsidian Sinclair came in says Adam's got to cancel for the thirty first. He's he's gonna be sick that day. Yeah. <laughs> that's the day he's already got it marked down, guys. Yeah. He's gonna hey. accidentally eat a mushroom. True. And Naris Faree, otherwise known as Shiny King, says, uh, can I get in on this Dan stocking? <laughs> oh, man, get in line. Equal opportunity. There's a Every, bunch everyone's... of people already in front of you. So yeah. don't go to my perch, all right? <laughs> get your own perch. It's six months to build that thing, all right? Dan I, is gonna I found end. a dog house, put it up on the side, <laughs> nailed it in there. I have a little sleeping bag. I don't have to bring my own anymore. I just have it there. It's great. Dan is going to walk food out the door someday, and there's just going to be a, like a mass of wriggling bodies, and that's going to be his stalker. A mass what? of bodies? Yeah, all you the stalkers. Have such a weird mind. Travis. All the stalkers are going to merge into a giant stalker. So weird. Oh, my. Like, there are times. Like, like that. Like that. So, <laughs> what Souls horror game movie? boss. Dark Souls boss. Right. There's a Dark oh, Souls boss that is that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm uh, talking about? Nero. Oh, my. Yes. My Nero. You worry yeah. me sometimes, Travis. The grave Lord. <laughs> Travis worries Great me every boss. day. Right. Uh, dungeon boss. came in and says, I should have been Blab's coach. Well, I mean, you still can Dungeon. Just step on you out. Know, huh? Everyone probably thinks that. Right? We're and all Blab's When you see coaches. a shitty coach. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm not talking about you, Craig. Uh, maybe. Well, maybe a little bit. Uh, you know, when, you, when you're watching a game being played and the coach is crap, you, you, everyone's got that vibe. I could coach better than this jackass. Definitely have that vibe sometimes watching these two play. But they so, never I get they never blame the players. They always blame the coach, right? That's, yeah, that's it's crazy. true. Yeah. Hey, let's well, live. Well, look, look, Blabs is not trying to be anything she isn't. All right. Right, I Blabs? I never claim to be a Blabs big gamer. Is, he's a shitty player. I all right. She, but she, she does, has fun. She does act like she's innocent an awful lot. I mean, yeah, there's some <laughs> suspect like, about that. Come on. I, I, I just found out a wild late night adult swim means, okay, BBC, I don't know shit. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, let's, let's live the Christian faith. <laughs> Speaking of BBCs, came in and says, I <laughs> Oh, that's Molly's mom. Molly's mom hangs out on, on, on my stream sometimes. Well, what's Paul and Mom say, say there, Dan? <laughs> I ran into weird comments. Uh, why are you guys laughing? I ran into oh, weird dude. comments about Dan when too new to this community to know to report it. Truly more than cringe. Sorry, Dan. Oh, no well. need to apologize, Molly's mom. I mean, we're all pretty cringe. Craig is already sinking into his chair. No, but that's and I more haven't even played than Sonic cringe. yet. Yeah, that's awesome. Imagine more than cringe. What is more than cringe? I don't know. Cringer. Um, hey. Hey. Do you even know what Cringer is? First of all, Flex. Should oh. I? What is it? Uh, never mind. Go. It's a Sergeant that's Schultz cringe. came in with the $5. To says, two slices <laughs> toasted bread, slice of, slice of fried spam, scrambled egg, and some mustard. Oh, man. There Everyone, you go. Put your favorite breakfast sandwiches in the, in the chat, please. Fire away. <laughs> uh, Diana and, Francisco over on Rumble. I got the... I know the Rumble... Something's up with Rumble. I don't know what it is, but mm -hmm. uh, we do have a Rumble rant over there from Diana Francisco. She says, question for Dan, with your stalker problem, the real fans, such as myself, might as feel, uh, might now feel awkward posting likes and comments. What exactly. is a stalker to you, meaning not one who likes and comments or like define stalker? I guess that's really like a good lead into talking about it. Uh, can, uh, do, is there anything else you want to talk about, Craig? Yeah, let, let me read off these these couple super sure, sure. chats here. And, we'll get uh, back to that, Diana. 
Yeah, absolutely. That's a really good question, Diana. And uh, we'll get into uh, um, stalking here in just a second. Uh, as Cryptic came in and says, uh, if them be the rules, Blabs is never going to finish a retro game again. Hey, thank you so much, Cryptic, with the $5 hater bucks. Just you <laughs> watch. I'm going to show all of you. And uh, Nodding <laughs> came in and says, Craig, don't you dare think the Mario Funathon is over. October is approaching. By the way, how about that slam ball dunk contest last night? Last night? Loved it. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to be playing Mario Wonder, first day of its release in October. Uh, that's kind of the continuation of the Mario Funathon. And as far as nodding the slam ball dunk contest goes, uh, I did watch it last night. Uh, I thought it was very, I thought it was thrown together, but I would like to show you guys. Uh, would you like to see a couple dunks last night from the slam ball dunk contest? Guys jumping on trampolines. You guys care about care to see about that? Yeah, I don't think I have a choice. So, <laughs> Dan, Dan, do you want to see? Uh, see, see is this true? Sure, <laughs> sure, let's go. Let's see it. Okay, sounds good. Here we go. This is uh, this is one from last night where the guy did a like crazy backflip or something. This was kind of fun. A uh, little slam ball dunk contest action. Oh, oh, damn! Pretty fun. Did like a backwards. Back That's got to be so fun. That was, ah, that was that was a lot weaker than I expected. Okay, all right. Tell us now. Really I know good. that's impressive, but like, I, I wanted him to like go a hundred percent around and then dunk it. So that was his third attempt, by the way. His third attempt oh. at, at that dunk. So uh, you know that that was less Meh. impressive. Eh. Meh. 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 Yeah, eh. All right. Uh, and let's see. This one was. I thought this one was pretty fun, and and this will be the last one I show you. And uh, just to kind of nodding. Thanks for bringing this up because slam ball. Uh, and then we got this one. I thought this was neat. Watch the ball is on the ground, bounces it up, boom, boom. No, he did not. It's pretty cool. He's using the popcorn okay. bounce to bring it up. You know, Again, fun. meh. Uh, <laughs> it's fun to hear your reaction to that because I'm that's well, and that's kind of my thought too. Was I don't think they should do the the slam ball dunk contest because a. You can tell in real life when somebody jumps off the ground and somebody does something impressive, you're like, wow, that's really impressive. It's hard to tell that that's really impressive if you've never jumped on those trampolines before, right? I think that's the that's the biggest thing. So a lot of people go, that's eh, whatever. You should be able to do that. It's on a trampoline. So. Well, I mean, haven't you – have you guys ever seen the trampoline guys that they have this ledge and then they have a trampoline like, I don't know, like – Jumping off the feet, roof, you mean? 12 feet down. No, not off a roof. This is like a yeah. platform design – to jump oh, off and then spin stuff. back and then mm -hmm. like jump off and do another spin and like some crazy stuff. Like I've seen some insane things and like even my dad, you know, my, my dad was actually a state champion on trampoline in gymnastics. Like he was straight up like a trampoline machine. And uh, I've seen some cool ass pictures of my dad, like upside down, like in a perfect point that 10 feet, 15 feet in the air above a trampoline. I'm like, all right, so I've seen some cool shit on trampolines. So I see that, I'm like, it, it looks like they figured out one thing to do the first okay. day they were in the gym with a trampoline. Yeah, you know? I see, I see I, I wanna how see, Adam I want to see it two years, three years down the line of these guys getting knowing how to do some crazy-ass shit. That that was like some beginner shit. I just I'm not saying it's, it's easy, but it looked really lazy. Like, Look, meh. I'm just going to say this. I had no idea you were such a trampoline snob. That's, that's oh, yeah. outstanding. Absolutely. Yeah. Trampoline police. <laughs> well, no you know I what? Was... I, you know what? I have that badge. Where's my badge? Well, I misplaced I, it. I've got, I, I actually, got badge. Badge? Trampoline, trampoline police. Oh, Damn. I, I actually kind of agree because if if you're using you, artificial means to jump, I want to see some Michael Jordan type shit. Sorry for you. Well, Michael Jordan didn't do backflips and shit, but that's all right. But like, what I'm, I'm just saying, saying well, I'm using him as that an shit example. Was slow. He did jump it halfway like, across yeah. the goddamn court yeah. and make a make a slam dunk. So I mean, come well, on. free throw line. Yeah. Yeah, that, like, that, how dare you guys not to admire this? I, I don't care if you admire <laughs> I, I admired it or not, but I'll tell you what. I just I I love that Adam's dad was a like professional trampoliner. <laughs> I think that's oh, yeah. awesome, bro. There you go. State champ. State Craig, what, what are your, what are your, uh, what, when you see these, what do you rate them? How are you, when you see them, like you're the, the ch slam ball guy, you've yeah, actually yeah, yeah. competed. One to 10? Uh, yeah, out of 10. 
I see though, uh, I actually agree with you greatly in that I think that those are, those are good dunks, but I think there's a lot to improve on. Cause I know that they're like, that yeah. takes a lot of balls to do a flip 15 feet in the air and try to put, try to get a ball through a hoop. Like you gotta take some guts to do that. Give me a With day. A, a day. For I'll, what? I'll be able to do that jump, that dunk. A backflip okay. dunk. Uh, well, it, it would need to be in a slam when ball. Flood comes on. Okay, I'll tell you. Hey, listen, I can facilitate this, Adam. I don't uh -oh, know if you realize okay. this. You I, can what? I, I can. I would, all right, I'm down. Okay, I'm just saying. I, right. I'm pretty I'm sure slam minutes. ball. Okay, I'm pretty sure that slam ball is like gonna have a home base in vegas with a court up at all times i'm pretty sure i can facilitate this and make this happen okay Just saying and so, i'm always looking for a free trip to vegas so <laughs> well travis i didn't say anything about you hey uh, <laughs> you are invited I'll, 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 I'll fly there anyway so, like, <laughs> it's not free then does it uh all my trips to vegas are free blabs thank you uh, oh, why because i'm a high roller dear it's a high roller. Uh, wow. Figure that How out. How old are you? What is a yeah. low roller? I can't believe you're Rolling younger blades. than me, Travis. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Travis is dear. Travis coming in and throwing down them big bucks in Vegas, man. It's great. Hey, uh, Crispin Wah came in. Good for you, Crispin Wah. Sorry about your son. It says, hi, Dan. Uh, I saw your Amazing Grace video, uh, Amazing Grace song, uh, getting praised by the charismatic voice. Would you be able to make a new wrestling entrance song for me? Oh, Chris Benoit. <laughs> you guys. Uh... Wrestling intro song. Damn, damn it's well, a troll. It's a troll. Chris Benoit killed his wife. I, I would, the real I would Chris be able, Benoit would have be super that. chatted at least 500 bucks. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, Some but to answer bucks. his question, I would be able to do that. Not, not necessarily Good. mean I will. Good to know. No. <laughs> but I would. Do we? Good, Good yeah. to know. Do we take hell bucks? We, we we take hater uh, bucks. That's what we do. Anything Good. has got to be worth more than Brazilian <laughs> currency. <so. laughs> hey, Platy Punk egg, came in. Egg pizza. <laughs> says, uh, yeah, sure. I I got paying egg pizzas uh, as every Brazilian is. So <laughs> that's how YouTube pays out down there. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Gets in the mail. <laughs> Just yeah. a stack of egg pizzas. It's gonna be moldy yeah. by then. Uh, yeah, especially the eggs. Platy Punk, thanks so much for your uh, for your your uh, hater bucks, letting us know that bacon, egg, and cheese on toast with sriracha is your breakfast sandwich. That's the uh, question right of the day. There. Let us. I know would go bagel. Chat. I would go bagel though. Everything bagel. Mm. Mm, Everything bagel right is bagel. is the best bread for any sandwich. Fight me. I'm with Adam. Adam knows. Okay, he gets it. Damn All right, let's. It. I see. Wait, I want to see if if Dan's gonna contest my this. breakfast. No, no, no. I'm saying everything bagels make the I, best bread for any sandwich. I don't know sandwich. what bagel is. Oh dear God, this poor child. It's, it's that, it's hold, that hold thing on. with the hole in the middle. Hold of on. It wait a minute. Cream wait a minute. On. You there, don't know no. what a bagel is. I don't. Holy I don't me. think we have those. Unless it's. Let me let me check the translation. The Holy. deprivation of this check, child. Check the translation. Have you ever seen a wheel in bread form? Like a donut, but bread. <laughs> it's a like a donut, donut yeah. but not. No, 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 no. Don't don't say donut. That's not yeah, that, that well, is it's the same not shape, the same. shape as one. No, it's no, not no, no, sweet, no. Though, like not really. Spelling? Not really. Dan, look, look at this. Look at this. B A G E L. Bagel. Yeah, we got yeah. it pulled up. These, Dan. these are bagels. Have you ever seen these? Uh, yeah. it's, it looks like a donut. No, 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 no. <laughs> Donuts are sweet. Bagels are like they're bread. they're like dense bread. They're boiled, so they they have a different type of process before they're I actually baked. I don't think we have that, and there's no translation, so I don't Holy think we have that. Holy shit! Yeah. Well, Get this man a bet. You know what? Next time I'm in Brazil this weekend, actually. Uh, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> when is perch? <laughs> you gotta figure. Just though, open bro. open your window at like 7:48 a.m. <laughs> there will be Brazil a nice Brazilian. Bagel there will sitting. be a bagel waiting for you. <laughs> Brazilian you bagel right yet? Eat. With some egg in there too. Bread, though. They probably I know. Have is a there lot any Brazilians in the do. chat that can confirm this? Brazilians, anyone out that. there? This is I don't insane. Think we have that. Yeah, you know what? Shit Open a Brazil. bagel place. You're welcome hey, in Brazil. Hey. Go to yeah, New York, dude. Uh, it's like stuff that's really cheap in the United States, but just because it's American over here, it's super expensive. Like donuts. 
Don't charge. charge. Uh, I mean, bagels charge aren't like, really a Oh, you, you could charge like four or five egg pizzas for a bagel. There you go. Because <laughs> that's the currency down there, right? <laughs> that's the currency. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I, I did find an article from everyone's favorite news source, Vice, which is, by the way, is owned by owned by George Soros now. Oh, great. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that or not, but uh, but there's an article here from 2015 that says how Rio de Janeiro fell in love with the bagel. Really? So, so apparently, it's uh, it's making its way. So good, oh, good for this is 2015. Yeah, you're you're late to the game. Sorry, bud. Yeah, apparently. Look up a bagel shop. You got to get one and go get an everything bagel. And then don't put cream cheese on it. No, nah, that's some basic bitch shit. All right. <laughs> Use that to make whatever your favorite sandwich is. You got a favorite sandwich, right? My favorite sandwich. Yeah, probably good old bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. Throw that on it. Oh, dude. Toast the toast the everything bagel. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and yeah. Butter. So, yeah. Butter Just, it up. Butter it up, butter it up baby. Yeah. So that for me? what what you here's the thing though. Butter it up for me. Sorry. Sorry I'm just I'm going like, with the stalker thing. Yeah, Took I'm, a little too go. far. Well, hold on. Let, let's just, you know what too far for a stalker. <laughs> they never you know what? They do need them. <laughs> Hi. Hey. You know how long I've been waiting to just get you and me together? I've been waiting for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was okay. keep waiting for your mom to leave the room when I'm perched outside your window, but she just, I think she knows. I think she knows I'm sitting oh my. there. <laughs> yeah, that, at least you have been taking care of my collection, right? Hey, True, I dust, the, I dust them all with my tongue. <laughs> brown chicken, brown oh, cow. No. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to keep you guys right next to each other. Hold on. There you go, just, just staring at each other. All right. Uh, so uh, especially learning... that bone in your room. Hey, yo. There you go. Is that a bone in your room? That's you just nice and to clean. See me? <laughs> I dust the shit out of that bone. There you go. Oh, no. With your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I make bagels with it, if you know what I mean. Oh my god. The hole in the middle? No, sorry. Jiminy too Christmas. Too far. Too far. <laughs> Listen, Dan, Craig's when you come when something. you come up, Dan, when you come up to oh. to the United States, you will be introduced to the bagel. And I make sure Adam will be the man who introduces to you, which is great. Golden platter. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, okay. but he shouldn't have oh, anything no. from the West Coast <laughs> or Canada. Basically, it's got to be like Southern New York area. I, this That's is, really this, the only bagel you can get. Uh, well, I, I don't agree with that, but. Well, I mean, fine. the best one. You don't want to go to the West Coast from like and get something San Francisco. No, no, That's no. just a terrible Not the idea. West Coast. No, nah. I don't want okay, any of that. The East Coast is the best thing to get. That it's, are because, well, it's because it's because of the water. You, it's because of the water. Because to make bagels, you first have to shape them, and then you boil them, and then mm -hmm. you put them in the oven. It's a so science. They, it's a process. So depending on the quality of the water, it comes out different. Wow. So yeah, the flavor quick, tastes different depending on the water. It, yeah, absolutely. It dawns on more water, the more like around New the, York City, the better the bagel. The more there fluoride in it, the better the bagel tastes. More nutrients. I would yeah. say. <laughs> I will say this, Dan. Adam's been saying everything bagel. You don't even know what everything means. So there's different oh, yeah. flavors oh, yeah. of bagel. Good point. Good point. There's, Please explain. That's true. So there's regular bagels, which is like a bread. It's like a really thick, dense bread. But there's also like blueberry bagels or cinnamon raisin bagels. But an mm. everything bagel is like a, it has uh, poppy seeds on it, sesame seeds on it. Has like tastes like onions or you know has like has a bunch of flavor in it, which is it's, it's got like onions on it. Also. It's a it's a combination Salt. of every other flavor in one bagel well every called. other topping right it's, it's not this he said he just said cinnamon raisin and, and blueberry those aren't on there those are specific those are baked into the bread yeah. so they're more of like a sweeter bagel but i i like the savory types of bagels because i use them for sandwiches you don't want to use like a blueberry bagel for like a, a turkey sandwich you know but like an everything bagel you could put any kind of sandwich you want together on that thing and it's amazing so as long as so you, you like you what's in the, the everything for the bagel, bagel. I change the bread for the bagel. Exactly. Yeah. For okay. the sandwich. Well, mm -hmm. for, okay. for the sandwich, but you make all the bagels the same way. You just put different ingredients into it. Right. So fascinating. Yeah. It's like a yeah. whole, whole. It's a big world. deal. Yeah. Big deal. <laughs> I like my bagels. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I'll say this, man. Look, I had, I had a brioche bagel today. Oh, so I good. never tried a brioche oh, bagel. Oh, so good, man. So good. I've never had one until like this year. Try it. How do I get one of those? The supermarket. 
They I don't worked... have bagels. Their bagels are trash here. Oh, I I'll a... mail you one, but then they'll just be really moldy. So no, I, I, please don't. I worked <laughs> at a place called Einstein Bagel Brothers for two years. They're all right. So they're all right. I, I can't stand Einstein's. Are, they're okay. Yeah, because you so, worked there for ten years. That makes sense. Two years. The, oh, two years. You said okay. The creepiest part of this is when Dan has bagels show up at his door from a stalker. So let's get into stalking talk here. I think it's right. Actually, you know, let's actually get into this because Dan, oh, Dan had some good questions. Did you so see the question, email that I got? Okay, so no, I wanna, we should bring whatever that is up. So, yeah. but before we even go into it, I'm going to bring back Diana's question. She says, mm -hmm. "What is a stalker to right. you?" Right? right. I think that's a really good question. Like, it's, it's a fantastic a super question. Super fan, someone who really loves your content and shares your stuff and supports you it's like that's just someone who's supporting you versus the stalker what where's the line mm -hmm. yeah that's what it sucks about stalkers because like everybody feels weird now to demonstrate any any sort of affection or admiration so they are not mistaken for 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 those weird people so it's like it, right. it, it's a it's a snowball effect my instagram is pretty much gone my Instagram is gone. It's pretty much weird. Uh, I, I'm going to get hit for say that, but it's not everyone. It's not everyone, but there's a lot of weird, lonely, thirsty cat ladies over there. And, and it's like, like a normal guy or a normal girl looks at that. And will I leave a comment and be counted amongst those people? I won't. I would, I would just enjoy dance content in silence. So it starts to become this snowball effect and it sucks. Mm. But I would say, if you don't want to be mistaken as a, a, for a, for a stalker, just use your common sense. Just, just don't be weird. Just don't like yeah, saying like, I really love your content so much that I would love for you to put a baby in me. Like that's it's a little like, like well, okay, I get that sort of weird. shit. I and I, and I believe, believe it. Look not, at you. I Look at that hair. That sort of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes for me. Adam actually tells me this on a daily basis. That's right. Make donuts with me. I will. I will say this. Make when, bagels. When I was in my early twenties, um, I got hit on by middle-aged women, like, dude, more than you would ever. Like Matthew Broderick. More than you would ever imagine, and it does get kind of creepy and kind of old. And they weren't like messaging me or following me. That was just I ran in into person. them somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jesus. But yeah. So there's some there's some sort of societal pr protection to those women because it's like it's not a man. Oh, you're complaining about women? Women, women like, are harassing you? Oh, poor you. I get that from Blabs all the time. Blabs are like, oh, poor you. So there's like a... What? There's like a, a cultural... Stigma. Exactly. Not, not, not really stigma, but it's like, uh, it's not a big deal. But it's like, it's annoying Acceptance. as fuck. Acceptance. Think about that. Acceptance, this. that's the word. What if they were right. all middle-aged men doing that to a woman? Right. That's exactly his point. That will be seen as disgusting. Yeah. Right? And and harassment and stalking and all this. Yeah. But you need to suck it up if it's a woman. Right? So there, there's a lot here. There's a lot to talk talk about with this. Right? And so this stems from a, uh, the, a, a tweet that you put out uh, talking about there was an email that you received in this email. This is the... This isn't the origin of it. This is just this one of the emails. My dogs it's are one, barking. It's one of those. I addressed a couple cases yesterday. And it's like when, when Craig invited me to talk about it, I, I told him, hey, man, it's not even a big deal for me. It's just that yesterday I, I lashed out. Okay. I can't. Sorry. Sorry I, I was yelling at my dog. Sorry. Go okay. <laughs> but I, I just told Craig. It's not even a big deal. I just lashed out yesterday because I felt like it, but it's like it's it's common occurrence. It's not it's, that's not even a lot to talk about it because because it's it happens so much. Yeah. Let's and take let's take the example of what you just said earlier about put a baby in me. What if a man said I want to put a baby in you to a woman? Dude, that, that, that could would... be interpreted uh, as uh, as a as a serious threat. Yeah, like yeah. Like graping but, threat. <laughs> so, I mean, I, we really need to, as a society, take a look at this because it's, it's not right, to be honest. Yeah, and I'm not making it, you, you know, I'm an anarcho-capitalist. I'm not, I'm not making a, uh, trying to make a point 
towards like oh we need to to like legislate that sort of thing that's not my point at all but hey maybe maybe allow me to talk shit about it a little <laughs> <laughs> and well, shame those women a little bit and be mad at them a especially little. if you you're said some earlier you, you yeah. said something earlier that i think really is the, the key is have some common sense like the people who yeah. want to support you and don't want to worry about being a stalker it's like you know what you probably don't have to worry about that because you're not going to be doing the things that would cross that boundary of what would be considered stalking you're not showing up at his house you're not dming him some creepy ass shit sending him pictures of shit that he didn't ask for or wants at all. Dude. Uh, you know, I, okay. I could tell that you've actually gotten those. I was just kind of, dude, thinking. I, I, I showed blab some of, some of that stuff. She, she mm -hmm. saw it. Blabs, what did you really? see? I saw it all, man. <laughs> when you say it all, you mean like, or we're talking like about the body? No, there's, like, there's like no images or anything that I've seen. I don't think you've gotten those. Oh, I showed, didn't I show you a video of the chick with the, uh, with the like with her luggage ready saying dan when will you come no, pick you didn't up her luggage me that didn't i show you that no. no there was a lady that sent me videos of her packing and it's like, like I'm oh, ready I'm to move ready. to brazil i'm getting ready for for when you when you're going to pick me up to move with you like that, that there's no. a name for that for that mental condition i forgot it's the same it's the same thing with the guy that was stalking melanie mack there's a name for that. I, I'm blanking. It's like it's a mental Psycho? condition. Yeah, Sorry. is that yeah. it? Yeah, but it's like psychopathy. It, it's a mental condition where the person believes, like the person has the actual belief. It's real for her. Schizophrenia. For it's delusions. No, it's it's like she believes that someone famous or someone notorious, like a politician or an actor, is it or parasocial? Singer, a couple is in love that. with them. They believe that for a fact that though that famous person, that prominent person is in love with them and they have a relationship. So parasocial so, is describing a one sided relationship as, for example, between celebrities and their audience. That is what parasocial means. So, hmm. yeah, that, that, that sounds sounds pretty, pretty similar. Yeah. Let, let's yeah, but it's not that. Uh, yeah, I'll remember. It's later. called erotomania. Erotomania. That's it. Look that up. It's a rare right. mental health condition that happens when someone is fixated on the idea that another person is intensely in love with them. The other person may be a celebrity, wealthy, or of high social position. The condition is also known as Declarambolt syndrome. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it, it, it was what happened to Melanie Mack, and it happens to me at least once a year. Wow. So let's let's get to this email really quick. That, that and I'll never apologize part. for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so and here's there's the, the, what, what there, let's preface this. There's joking in our community, joking like I've seen one of our communities tell Dan, I want to have your babies. They aren't serious. And whoa, but whoa, if you're whoa, like, whoa. don't if, speak for me. If you're a random person that he's never <laughs> talked to, never met, never interacted with, that's not a joke. Then it's just weird. But and it's like you guys need to understand that I I I've been quote unquote a public person like for f for an extremely short amount of time. I'm I'm mostly a regular dude. I I I I I don't see myself as a celebrity. I see myself as a regular dude who loves heavy metal and does music in his garage. And regular dudes tend to find that shit weird. Right. So so, so what's interesting here is, you know, we're talking about this like parasocial relationship, whatever it is, the idea of somebody being fixated on you. Um, and we talked a little about like the, the male to female dynamic, right? But I would imagine that when you're a high profile streamer, you're Amaranth or whatever, the difference is that they monetize it. Right. Mm -hmm. It's all, it's always kind of like dangling the carrot. Right. And I don't, I don't mean that like in a negative drop. Well, I do kind of mean it in a negative derogatory way, but, but it's the like use it or lose it type thing. But it's I also bet. Choice. Right. And I bet they get it probably not 10 times worse, probably a hundred times worse. I would bet that for every, for every, you know, one crazy stalker lady you, you have, that's, you know, talking about oh, moving sure. there. I guarantee they have a hundred, hundred lonely, lonely dudes who are just lonely, horny dudes watching them. Uh, yeah, that, the that difference is those those horny dude, lonely horny dudes are 
probably giving half their life savings to these people. Right. Yeah. Well, and here's here's the the different the weird part that we all need to think about. Right. So, yes, though this is getting into a conversation of when a woman wears something skimpy, if somebody yells something at it, at them, is, is it their fault? No, it's not their fault, but it may happen. And you have to have that realization. Mm-hmm. You know it, what I mean? It, it, all it matters is if you're attractive enough. Like and if it, you're like, if you're attractive enough, people don't care. Right. And but if you're true, ugly, then suddenly it's creepy. It's which, kind of a really sad truth of the matter. But too. tell you what, attractive people tend to not do it. I no, wonder no. why. What's up with attractive that? Attractive people tend to... It's like, every time I receive a picture, it's not an attractive person. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> You're like, I Man, keep hoping. Man, it's an ugly woman. <laughs> well, that was mean, like... Dan. I think I'm attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's get to this email, because I want to dig into this. Cause, and so one, without going through and reading the whole thing, Dan, just give us the cliff yeah. notes of what this is that, about. That's not necessarily someone who a pet who 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 is clearly a, clearly a stalker, but it's an example of like the, the the loonies that I seem to attract for some reason, and the kind of shit that people use to try to like have any sort of personal relationship, relationship per, connection. personal connection to me. Let's so, let's focus first on the title, All right? <laughs> Free counseling from the original witches in America. Original. I mean, wow. If that doesn't sell you right off the I, bat. They I don't know what will. Don't know what will. Sure think of themselves awfully high, don't they? <laughs> it's like they're 200 years old probably, too. If they're the original. Oh, this is the Celtic Spirits Coven? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I've, heard of, I've heard of them. Is it is that a known thing? <laughs> no, I I'm just no. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys, have you heard of them? No. <laughs> oh, that's the original witches. Oh. Yeah, they make bagels. It's a, <laughs> it's a bagel company <laughs> in like Salem. <laughs> oh no. So there was this as well here. Uh, this is like you posted this yesterday. It says wait, 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 wait. I want to oh. read. I want to read the the email. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Move. And by the, the email entertaining. About. By the way, Dan, right. the, the holes, the pictures you're getting of holes, those are bagels. Da- okay. <laughs> Hello, oh Dan. It's or who- just really zoomed in, zoomed in bagels. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Dan, so, or uh, whoever is reading this. You may have been working on your talent. No, you, you have, have been. impressed. Oh, you have been working on your talent. You have impressed so many people, and you are experiencing fame. I am the leader of the largest traditional witchcraft ri- witchcraft coven in the world. Oh, wow, the world. Jeez. Young men like you, who has has honed their talents still need a spiritual leader and a mentor i saw the results of the test you took that jordan peterson had you were very easy to figure out no insult that that she's talking about a video i did with a personality test doing a personality test by jordan peterson i did that too yeah that it's 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 interesting it's cool yeah yeah the thing is you have just a slightly more interception than you like to give off. You are vulnerable and raw. Oh, wow. What the fuck does that mean? Ooh. She sees She sees you, all right? Yeah. She sees that, who you are on the inside. She sees me so much that she didn't realize I'm a Christian. She she sees the uh, the meat and that, tenderness yes. of your liver. Is anybody um, else getting oh sexual innuendo from this? And maybe, I, you know, I'm dirty minded. I get it from everything. <laughs> I understand that. No, 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 but, it's just you. <laughs> It's no, just the uh, it might it might vulnerable and no, raw right. isn't sexual innuendo. No, no, this that's very emotional and coming from a woman, I think, is more but it's uh, like invert the genders. Invert the genders for a You second. know the vibe I'm getting right now though? It, you guys, have you, well, sure, but have has anyone seen the um Game of Thrones series? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've, we've all seen it. Okay. You know the woman in red? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the uh, witch, witch woman, you know when yeah. she's putting the leeches on the dude's dick. I guarantee, this, yeah. I guarantee this, she doesn't look like this woman, that woman. wants to that. put leeches on your dick. Well, she does <laughs> look like her, but after guaranteed she re- after she guaranteed. removes the spell and turns into the old lady. <laughs> yep, she wants to put leeches on <laughs> yeah. your dick. Oh my god! 
Yeah, yeah he's probably right. There's some. I promise you, that is not my intention to make any money off of your name. My coven okay. has been responsible for creating the Republican Party in the USA what? to end slavery. Look creating at my the name. the Republican Party is not something that you brag about. Well, she also <laughs> ended slavery. So, oh, okay, so, yeah. In the, the same uh, sentence. Wow. Seems she really created good. it to end slavery. Look at my name. We are patriots. And I, I looked am her a name up leader. and I still don't know what the fuck she is. Who the fuck she is. <laughs> I, I Googled her name, Sasha X. I still don't know who she is. Well, you didn't Google her past life name, Dan. Oh, my bad. <laughs> right, right. Or, but did you did you look up the... I forget the name of the coven. Uh, the bagels coven? <laughs> the yeah, the, the, bagel, oh, man, the bagel I bagels. Spend, I didn't spend more than 30 seconds at this. <laughs> I, I did, I've been Googling the entire time you've been reading this, trying to dig okay. on this lady. And I, I can't find anything about witchcrafts, the, 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 uh, the origin of the Republican Party, or Sasha X online. I, just Wait, what's the name of their that. coven, though? It, I, I don't know. I just searched largest traditional witchcraft coven in the world. Isn't it something no, Celtic? No, no, no. no what's, what is the email oh. from? It says Celtic, the name of their coven. Celtic, witchcraft, something, something. Yeah, right. Celtic Spirits Coven. Yeah, yeah. Celtic? Celtic spirits coven. Celtic. Yeah. Celtic. Got, Celtic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Boston. You got Boston Celtics. So okay, so they end the slavery. Good for them. I mean, that's that's, a that's pretty admirable. great. Uh, it's, yeah. You know, you know what you I should find, give her your soul, Dan. What yeah, I give find, her. Why don't you give her social security <laughs> number? And she doesn't everything. want my soul. She wants something else. What I find. Yeah. So she wants the blood from your dick. <laughs> but there's leeches on it. In leech form. <laughs> oh, dude. What I find so amazing is that. They were managed to create the Republican Party and end slavery, but couldn't keep their fellow witches from being burned at the stake. It's an amazing stuff. Is that is that the same era? I thought that was a little, little earlier. She said yeah. they're original. Yeah. Original. I know, but when they were burning the well, witches in Salem, well, they've, been, that... they've been burning witches for thousands of years. Like... Adam, look at that part. You're heavy metal fans. You want to continue? Yeah, here, let me, let me continue here. Mm -hmm. All right. I am a spiritual leader that helped make USA the greatest country on the planet. Well, she sounds wow. like a far-right extremist, actually. <laughs> uh, be honest. Your heavy metal fans would love to know that you were mentored <laughs> by witches. Jesus oh, Christ. But <laughs> what your <laughs> heavy so metal crazy. fans don't know is that we, actual witches, <laughs> helped free black people from slavery. Why Jesus is she really Christ. honing in on that? I don't. Yeah. yeah. That's metal, man. Or right, anyway, <laughs> uh, I can be your spiritual advisor. I'm not seeking payment or fame. I have no need for your money nor your public thankfulness of me. Okay, I she doesn't need you... my public thankfulness, but she thinks my fans will really find it cool that I'm mentored by her. Right. That's, That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, you you don't seek it. But you, you don't need it. Yeah, you but want you it. Don't ah, tell everybody I want about it. me. I don't. She doesn't it, need but... it though. She's not. <laughs> it's not a must. But she yeah. wants it. There's a difference. I swear, I've met people like this, and I swear she's a schizophrenic person. I swear she's schizophrenic. She, Dan she mm, talks yeah. like she's schizophrenic. Dan, never go to Salem. All right, don't don't ever go to Salem. <laughs> You know That's what the worst the part about the witches is? are? Dan, how that Dan long told before me you, that he would you, uh, threaten? You have a hex put on you. Oh Christ! I feel like I'm well, some uh, he did, if he didn't if he didn't answer that, he already has one. That probably no, she probably is really making fun that... of her on Twitter, and I have a curse on me right They've now. They've been through his something. trash and got his hair. My so... nipples will fall off for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen them. They're gone already. <laughs> your nipples. Don't don't try to don't try to lie. Don't try I've seen me I've seen you through your window with no shirt on. Those nipples Put are gone. Put a curse on me. My nipples will fall off. My penis will turn into a noodle. I'm fucked. A leech. It turns into hey, a leech. That makes Actually. it easier for her to slurp it up, buddy. Skibado, ah! <laughs> skidoodle. Your dick is slow a noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh you have gosh. been mentored by her. <laughs> you have? Wow, you're so good at that now. How else would he know the spell? Huh? We got go. him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Let's let's continue on here, but I want to read a few super, super chats really quick before we move on because they are related to what we're talking about. And bagels. 
Um, okay. Pros came in with a five dollar, uh, five dollar massive hater bucks. Says uh, Adam will be in Brazil this uh, the week of the thirty first to hand feed Dan a bagel. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All and, I know and, is yeah. I better see a meme <laughs> about skedaddle skedoodle. <laughs> Host, thank Dick you so much. A noodle. We'll, we'll get to your question later, host. Appreciate that. Well, uh, when we're off the uh, stalker stuff, uh, and the initial C says, uh, I thought bagels were a way to market stale. Oh, market stale donuts. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> thanks. Oh. thanks, initial C. That's wrong. That's All right. You need you need to learn yourself some initial C. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta learn today. Shelly told us this. Uh, Dan, can your next daily post be dawn over a new day? I'm getting current great reviews and it would be great for everyone to see it enjoying the show by the way thanks Shelley. thanks Appreciate yeah I, I need to include that one in the loop of daily posts i I'll, I'll ask giovanni my social media guy to do that i don't include like m- uh, a lot of newer videos because i the the goal of those daily posts is precisely to to uh remember people of those old videos because i got a lot of requests of covers that i already did so I want to remind people of those old videos that I did, which are really evergreen and can still be enjoyed. Love it. Uh, let's live. Uh, the Christian faith came in and says a delusion. Speaking a of, delusion. of, of mm-hmm. what they were yeah. thinking, uh, Matthew says, uh, this is interesting. He says, uh, just like the models on OnlyFans, they do the exact same thing. It's very addicting. I know because I'm trying to get away from that stuff. Good for you. Oh man, more. you can do it, Matthew. I believe more in power you, man. To you, man. Yeah. 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 To, you, to be you honest, my it. go, go ahead. ahead, Travis. Oh, I was just no. gonna say my advice: stay offline just for a while. That that's that's a good thing. Keep yourself busy offline, and it's like I've I've. It's no shame in asking a friend to have your cell phone, like a family member, to keep your cell phone away from you during the day, and like lend it to you certain times of the day only it's like there's there's no shaming taking that sort of action well and like any addiction you know uh it's okay to take ask people for help anybody you know that's trust i think that's actually just on a quick side note i actually think that's going to be a really big uh opportunity moving ahead for like when i say opportunity uh, maybe not that's that's not the right word the, it's going to be a really big uh, epidemic moving ahead. This the sheer addiction to screens and phones and uh, uh, the ability to wean people off this addiction, the screen addiction, the dopamine addiction that people feel on a day-to-day yep. basis. That's, that's, that's a massive. think human eyes will eventually adapt to all this blue light from these screens? Yep. Definitely. You would think so, right? Since we spend all our day looking at them, right? Yep. Abomination says, Dan, (laughs) stop holding the women, uh, uh, stop holding other women of the World Cup, uh, of the world up (laughs) to Brazilian women's standards. (laughs) Sorry, Abomination. Sorry for that one. We got World some Cup. beautiful women it's happening here. right now the world <laughs> cup is happening england we got wins. some beautiful women here in brazil i gotta gotta tell you we have some fat women here in the united states that, nice. are, that, that oh. are beautiful uh no, diana their own way all right i'm sorry says, no. dan it's because you're so handsome so stalkers are pre- uh it's because you're so handsome so stalkers are present it's a curse just creepy for sure and so glad to know you're a christian no, I definitely don't see it as a curse because I, I think taking care of your appearance and taking care of your, your, your aesthetical presentation opens up many doors, opens up many opportunities. And I certainly don't, don't regret taking care of, of, of how I look. But, and I certainly see like, I, I look at all of this with, with a lot of gratitude. All I want it's to talk shit once in a while with those weird people. That's <laughs> I bring guess back entitled. public shaming. Well, and- yeah, it's okay to shame. It's okay to yeah. shame stuff you, you, you don't appreciate. Mm-hmm. And it's okay to compliment somebody on their looks. Like when I was getting hit on by middle aged m- women in my 20s, it was, it, you know, great. I'm cute. That makes me feel good about myself. Don't start saying weird shit to me. There's a difference. Yeah, and there's don't also. Don't be sexual. There's also, yes, I don't agree with that. There, there's Sorry, also the matter of the kind of 
the kind of culture you want to cultivate around your community and the, the kind of community you want to cultivate. It, it, it's like, okay, though, those women who monetize the, uh, their appearances, that's a career choice and a life choice they make, but that, that's not what I want my legacy to be. Of course, being good looking facilitates a lot of, a lot of stuff in life, but that's not what I want to be known as. So I'm trying to mold the culture around my community around shaming that sort of behavior because that's don't that's not the legacy I want to leave Adam you said something I'm actually kind of uh, <laughs> yellow flash good uh -oh. for you good for you uh, go get that go get those hater bucks um, Adam you said something you said you don't agree with with Travis with that Travis said that, Travis said that it, it it's okay to like tell someone that they're attractive why do you and not why do you not think? I think I think that's I don't mean attractive. I I mean oh, okay, beautiful what, or handsome, what, what something like that. When you say attractive, that auto it's automatically not it's not it innately some. it's not innately okay. It, Why? it it isn't because it depends on if you're attracted to the person or not. And like the the, the vanity of humans are it's it's so varied. And, you know, people have such high standards for what they are allowed to compliment them if you're ugly and you compliment someone you're a fucking creep and it's like that that's the state of the world right now so it's not okay like it, it isn't okay to compliment someone nowadays and that's the culture that the people that want to be complimented the most have created i yeah. i it's it's the state of the world right now i right? I, I disagree with the first part of that i think because I compliment women all the time. I think Blab, Blabs is very beautiful. I don't like women. I'm not attracted to them. So there's not an attraction thing there. Right. So, and and, and that, I mean? that's that's apparent. You're not threatening at all because right. you're you're it's very evident because you're not coming off like, wow, you're beautiful. Right. I would, I'm not like and, and, and with the and with the drive behind where like I want to stick my dick in you like that doesn't exist because you're not into that kind of thing. Right. So there's there's zero. Um, you know thought behind it or or maybe I, I, not maybe not, it comes off different i don't know maybe maybe they can sense that or not right but do you sense just... the gay blabs <laughs> my gay <gaydar> bar <laughs> is working <laughs> that was She's a like, good way to put there's that. no threat there's no threat <laughs> no threat carry on i know well, i know he's just being nice well so hold on, hold on hold the on. variable no, go ahead well i was gonna say i i think that's really kind of silly the idea well you can't say that now like if I have no problem telling a friend or whatever, just like, Hey, you look nice. You know, whether it's a man or a woman and they just say, Hey, you look really nice yeah. today. You know? And I think that's really, I, I think that when you remove that, I agree, it, I agree it, with that. It's yeah, like, so sure. what's the difference between, Hey, you look, you, Hey, you look great. Just want to, you look really nice. I think you know? it's the wording, the, nice the versus beautiful. Not yeah. only the no, wording and the no, terminology, it's not the but wording. also the variable of the kind of relationship you have with that person. Yeah. Yeah, I think you know, it all that, that's, boils down that's to it. that. Yeah. Okay. That's what it, it. you what's don't it say? know what this person's going through. You don't know what their day is. You don't know what they've been through. What kind of traumas is, are are haunting their brain? That you just telling them you think you're being nice, and then suddenly they get triggered because they were raped okay. like ten years ago or some I shit. Think you know, saying that to a stranger, for example, on the internet is weird. Okay. Yeah. See, so, I wouldn't say I think you look beautiful or handsome to a stranger. That's a good I would, point. I would, however, say I think your outfit's nice right or what there's, if you there's like, look there's a pandemic right now of people taking things and reading into it the way that they would they want to perceive it right you could travis can say you're i think you're beautiful today to a hundred different women right there's going to be a portion of those women that are very happy and like oh he complimented me. maybe a large portion i don't know but there's going to be a small portion or maybe a large portion who knows of people that of women that are like suddenly freaked out by Travis. Maybe they they're not attracted to him. Something. Maybe yeah. maybe they think he's a creep. Look, I, I don't say like I wish this wasn't the case, but it's reality. But the attraction level of the person that's saying the 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 compliment, there's memes about it all over the internet of like, hey, you did a great job today. And it's like a handsome guy boss talking to uh, you know an attractive girl that works for him. And she's like, oh great. And then it's like the ugly one. And then the woman's like suddenly like I'm so uncomfortable, you know. Okay, so so here, here's the thing about that though is I feel like by you holding by by you not giving that compliment. Let's say I go to the bank, right? Mm -hmm. Some lady smiles. Hey, you got a, you got a great smile. I just want to tell you that, right? Like, yeah, that's great. Right? Is it? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. To her, but here's the thing, right? By by you holding back from that compliment and possibly making 80 out of 100 women's day better, right? You're buying into I personally, the I personally don't. What, 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 what I'm saying is, like, by somebody not doing that, you're buying into the bullshit that this that that a minority of of people that may may possibly could have been affected by you saying that being triggered by it. Like, no, 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 I, Greg, I, I you're missing my point. Okay, if you're if you're ugly, you're not allowed to compliment others. That's it. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? Some people that we think are really are really attractive are ugly as shit, and some ugly people are beautiful. Yeah, exactly. You know? I, it's I a, it's an unwritten or, rule or, about why do why do uh, flowers uh, look really beautiful? It's to attract things to them and allow their pollen to be spread better. It's like the natural beauty of things. I don't right? disagree with what Adam was saying, and I think he's right to a degree that a lot of people do that, but I don't think they should do that. I think that putting what you feel onto somebody else and their thoughts is wrong in any case. I, I, you know, it's funny. I look at the chat and I say, well, look at Lizzo, right? Lizzo is like, like what the fuck is Lizzo? But some people think she's a goddess, right? So, so could, could, okay, Adam, you know, guy who literally got paid for pictures of your beauty, right? Could you compliment Lizzo? my handsomeness, right? <clears throat> but, but could you compliment Lizzo? <laughs> No, I, I think she's insanely unhealthy and okay. it's it's a it sets a terrible beauty standard because well, that is not it's not healthy. But but, but just on, hy but hypothetically, could you though? Hy could you because you know like could I what? Could you Com could, compliment could you compliment her? her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I could, but I don't could see I? any reason why. You know could what? you? No, I'm yeah. asking. What but it's, well, uh, the, what, what I'm getting at is like what's the point? Who 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 defines what is attractiveness and like the, the level each of each individual person? Right, right. So so Lizzo could say, Craig, you can compliment me, but Adam is too attractive to compliment me, and that makes me feel unsafe. Right. That, yeah. that's, that's but reversed. there's also hold on. There's also the the dynamic of a male versus a female. You know, it's like if if she finds both of us attractive and we compliment her, but she finds Blabs super ugly and Blabs. Uh, compliments her or, or i don't know another if she finds dan really ugly and dan compliments her and, and she might it's just kind of this like innate thing all right well he's the creep he's being a creep but these two are these guys are just being really nice it's just like yeah. it's I, something there's, i've observed there's something to be said for that and i'll give an example when i would go out to gay bars in my younger days uh i would tell girls there you look hot all the time and they didn't think no two seconds of it because we're in a gay bar i'm a gay dude whatever but if i were to go to a straight bar and say that exact same thing they would take it as me being a creep yeah context right right, right. it's um, not a hundred percent you have yeah. to understand uh yeah the, and there's the very aura, that there's there's ways to read the aura of someone that when you're meeting them in real life that you can just never get online and the problem with online is you don't have any view into the type, the way they carry th themselves, the way their confidence levels are. You can tell if someone's being confident, direct and talking to you when you're right in the room with them. But online, they could be in any mental state. You have no clue. So you can compliment mm -hmm. them and it could it could throw you off. But like in re in reality, if a woman at the bank smiles at you, she's obviously in a good mood. She's being pleasant. So she'll probably receive a compliment about her smile nicely but if if someone if that same woman was having a shitty day and like forces a smile and it's like you could see that it's forced it's like it's kind of obvious and then you mm -hmm. compliment that smile it might throw her in a, a worse mood because she's like oh, i'm fucking faking it because i'm in a bad mood and like oh great this creep is complimenting my smile which uh, you know she already made it up her mind that you know, it's not a, a real smile, so it's obviously not a real compliment. Mm -hmm. It's like this whole situation is fucking wrong. I, I, don't know. For I, Dan. I believe I, I, I believe it all boils down. There are so many variables that it exactly always, it, it all boils down to social intelligence and being able Gr to great read point. people and being able to Absolutely. read the room. So and how do you get social intelligence by by talking to people by asking questions hey do you think this that is okay and having social experiences getting off your house and, and just living life i think uh there's there's a lot to be said about the social experience and we're going to speak about uh someone who 
has a lot of social experience here in a second. As we Can get I ask Dan a question real quick? Yes. It, Dan, if they had approached you different and didn't send that email directly like that, had they got to know you or been part of your community and then a year later sent you that email, would it come off different? Uh, the, the, the witch email? You yeah. Say? Yeah. The, the witch. Yeah. Uh, no, even it, even that like, email. No, I was, I will probably still be creeped out. Okay. I mean, probably. how many, what, uh, of the people that have reached out to you, Dan, on the internet, mm -hmm. have you actually gone to have a relationship? Not, not like a per intimate, but like, just like, you know, you know, I, we, we know each other. We I, work I, I sometimes, think, you know, whatever. Yeah. With fellow creators, obviously. But fans becoming friends, I or, I or must acquaintances. I think acquaintances. I guess sure. I can say the a lot of my mods uh, on my on my stream. Have shout out to all the like, mods out there because they yeah, all yeah. Shout out to to all the mods on my channel inside scrollers too. And it's like I those people are pretty close to friends. I wouldn't say friends because it's like we don't hang out and stuff in person but yeah it's, yeah i've i only i only make people mods people that i believe are are they, they think like me and, and they are like-minded and i could hang out with them in real life so i i think okay. that would be a an approximation but those almost but those friendship. people aren't necessarily the type of people that like tried to dm you Right. It's like, oh, no, the, no, the, no, no. The mods if that those, I have if, yeah. are, if, if, are if, like the people that are always in my chat that I'm like, they say cool things, funny things that I'm like, they res, they're always there. They're always hanging out. Not as like a stalker, but because like they actually, they're the, the real ones, the supporters that are like, I'm going to show up for this person because I, I yes. see their vision. Right. And so I, I'm talking tell, about the people that reach out to you. Yeah. You can tell when the person wants something in return. Right, right, right. For the she clearly for, for did the support. That witch yeah. clearly wanted something. Yeah, and, and, Your soul. and it's like yeah, when the person is desperate for your <laughs> when the person is desperate for your attention. It's Donut like... holes. <laughs> I'll say bagels. Bagels. Bagel That's right. holes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She wants to I show will, me her bagel. I will but say she, that. I, I. It's like you don't. It's it's highly unadvisable to make friends if you're an internet creator. Don't make friends with people who are desperate for your attention. Don't make them your mods or anything like that because they surely want something in return. That being, that could even be your, your, a relationship with you, but not, they're not going through the, the, the appropriate social channels to get a relationship with you. So it's the yeah, social would, intelligence that you were mentioning. It's like they lack that, right? For, exactly. to, to create a relationship with anyone, you have to understand that number one, it it takes two people to be in a relationship, right? Whatever their relationship is, friendly to intimate, doesn't matter, anywhere in between, or or violent, or you know the opposite end of the spectrum. But you, if if you if you want a relationship, you have to you can't just like push it onto someone. Be like, ah, I'm in your life now, right? It, it's like you have to understand that. You, you take social cues and understand where that and have the empathy to understand where they're at and communicate and listen and it's give and take that's what relationships are uh, relationships are you know well and you said you're a narco capitalist but it's like that anar anarchy people often misunderstand what that means and it's a mutual agreeing agreement on um re in relationships Right. Mm -hmm. It's like when you voluntary mutually agree relationships, yeah, voluntary relationships, right? It, it, exchanges of something, whether it be words, uh, a, a, a wave, goods, whatever. And that same is, I mean, we need more anarchy in relationships, right? That, that mutually agreed upon because the, these people that like that, which it wasn't, there was nothing mutual about that. I mean, it, it felt more like she was just shooting her shot and trying to be really um she, she's that person in high school that was in drama class that <laughs> takes that takes doesn't leave drama class in the classroom she takes it everywhere and like thinks she's being really cool and like oh now i believe i'm a witch so i'm gonna like act like i'm casting a spell every time i speak a sentence Watched you know that's too the, much that's, sabrina that's the vibe yeah that's the vibe yeah. i'm getting like or wow you really believe you're a witch
I, yeah, I get that. She, she really believes she's a witch. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? I, the, lose, I got that vibe. Yeah. It's a win-lose relationship. It's a win-lose interaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, speaking of uh, win-loss interactions, we're going to get into some more stuff here in a second with a certain individual. Um, uh -oh. But uh, before we do, I want to... And by the way, Dan, thank you for your bravery. I want to say one thing, actually. Yes, Dan Blavis. threatened me this morning by sending those witches after me to chop off my nipples. So she you know told what? me. She told me my mom's not a virgin. <laughs> I mean, yes, she's man. not. <laughs> what? Dan, Dan, you must, gotta make my hey, witches you, make your nipples fall. Are you Jesus, Dan? So like, he's a Jesus boy. was born too. What? <laughs> yeah, but she was a virgin. Oh, damn. Jesus had brothers. Yeah, after the fact. Later. Yeah. 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 So I just want to put that out there that I, I, you know what? Dan's going to use those Celtic witches against me. Now I'm going to use that. I should have accepted. That would be like, yeah. <laughs> Can you do me a solid? Can you, like, chop off this chick's nipples? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least they'll be dating. Chop them off? To... Wow. No. That's Blast. what he said. No, it's just like fall, not chop them off. They, oh. they like just, they just like this. Just, poof. They oh, turn no. it, you know, you know, like a scab, how it slowly like a, heals yeah, and yeah, just falls like, yeah. off. You like don't even just turn into scab, like, like a dry fruit and fall off. Scab nipples, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ew. At least, Ew. At least Ew. like a dry scab grape. Nipples? Like a dry grape. Can we talk grape. about bagels instead, please? At least please. they can turn those into a nice set of earrings. Ew. Oh my God. Like or, or a potato chip and fall. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> talking about pigs, huh? No, dude. Craig wants no, none Travis. Of I, I... All right. Well, let me read off some uh, wonderful super chats. As uh, <laughs> Andrew came in and says, where is this coven chick on the, on the hot, crazy matrix? Yeah, do you know what she looks like? Uh, I, I, I can't imagine. I a three hundred pound whale with blue hair. Probably. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no, no. I, I, if I had to take a guess, I would say that her face is like a four, but she, her body is like a six. So you know, like colorful that, that hair, colorful it's hair like, for sure. If Dan's she, like, if she wears makeup and like the the dresses appropriately, she could seem like a normal six. That's like, ah, okay. oh, you know, okay. But then yeah. you see her like out in the wild when she's like had a bad day and hasn't done her hair and hasn't done her makeup. And she's like, she she's just trying to take, you know, clean the cat litter. And uh, she's got like some cat shit the sticking on her face. Cat litters. <laughs> like, whoa. All right. The, you see the real Kraken kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> the Kraken. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm yeah. getting from this girl. Sorry to disappoint you guys at home. No Ovira. No Ovira for you. Or me. No, 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 Sal, no. Sal, thank you very much. It's like, like I keep waiting. <laughs> One day Elvira will slide into my TFs. <laughs> yeah. Sal, thank you Elvira very much. Who tried Appreciate to put a that. curse on me. Shit, we just gave them ideas. They're just going to start sending you pictures of Elvira. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Chat GPT, oh, give me a picture of Elv Elvira, but isn't her. Make it look like <laughs> this person. They put their own face oh, into the no. algorithms. <laughs> Blake says, are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's well, it's not, not very good. good, is it? It's no. Hermione Granger from okay. Harry Potter. Oh, is no. that? Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank None you, Blake. On it. Thank you, Blast. What a reference Except right you. there. And Obsidian Sinclair says, uh, says Craig <laughs> invoking the blessed name of the BBW. That was, Blast, that was Better Daisy's Mellow Yellow. Turn that fat rat or some mellow something. Turn that fat it's, rat yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the fat rat yellow yeah. spell. Oh, Harry oh, Potter. Oh, that Harry was like, okay. yeah, yeah. Right. I had no idea. Um, Dan, oh, Dan, you're a fellow non Harry Potter enjoyer. I I watched the two nice. first movies, but I think it's too late for me. I told Blabs that it's too late for me. I should have started it's when I was a kid. Too late for him in a lot of things, no, including this, the women. <laughs> Listen, let's be real. Damn. You that was brutal. <laughs> Dan, back for I apologize for that. That was... <laughs> That's fair. All right, you know what? I take it back. Fair fair you deserve been it. taking shots at everybody the past couple of days. <laughs> Me? You, je you jealous, Trav? <laughs> You're like, That's my job. 
Molly's mom Craig, came back go, says, go. with the ten dollar super chat, and them hater bucks says. I largely stopped interacting with Dan on Twitter or X as I didn't want to be a part of the culture that was making Dan uncomfortable. I just want awesome music. Well, thanks, That's what I'm talking oh, I about. love making him uncomfortable. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It ruins it for everybody because now the true ones will feel uncomfortable to be counted amongst the weirdos. Mm. That's why I fight that in, in the culture of my community. That's why I don't want this to be my legacy because those, those weirdos spread out like cockroaches and, 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 and drive everybody else away. Matthew is saying, uh, what Adam is saying goes back to what I was talking about with OnlyFans. Thank you, Matthew, as far as complimenting. Uh, Shelly came in with the $2 super chat. Thank you so much, She Shelley. looks like me outside of Dan's window. On a perch. <laughs> Shelly, do you also have a $10 super chat for Dan waiting? As no. <laughs> She says, Dan, on the other side of this, is that your true fans are paying the price for this. A lot of your fans in your in your Facebook fan club are being blocked by you on Twitter, X, uh, and they're sad about it. Uh, I block people on Twitter when I see weird behavior. I never block people on Twitter for nothing. If I see weird behavior and stalker-like and obsessive-like behavior, uh, I block them. And let me tell you, I'm not a fan of this Facebook this Facebook group that you're talking about. All of the, all of the weirdos, most like 90% of the weirdos that show up in my Originate email the inbox, group. they come from that Facebook group. It's like, I checked that group once. There's a lot of misinformation <laughs> about me this. and a lot of, a lot of doxing of information that I don't make public and I don't wish to be public, but it's there. And that's, that's yeah, the it's the part, first man. time. Yeah, it's the first time I say that in public, but it's been it's been a long time. I uh, I've been holding that in. I'm not a fan of this Facebook group, and I don't endorse it. If they were true fans, they w themselves would ostracize the people sharing that information. In a that lot of group. people do. A, a lot of people do, and that is there's a lot of true ones in that group, and some of my mods are in that group too. But yeah, uh, it's it's really that sort of adoration and, and, and weird behavior, and, and like when all the 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 social media presence of the person revolves around me, and I enter like I click on the person's Twitter profile, and there's nothing but pictures of me, nothing but posts about me, and, and people people wondering person. Uh, personal information about me and talking about that that's as i said i'm a regular dude and i i i don't appreciate that i don't like that sort of attention is it this dan bask worldwide fan page is that what <clears throat> yeah. on facebook there's a oh, yeah. lot of freaking info in this Dude, take it down yeah. Just hey no. that no, type of don't. stuff Can you and i don't it? like it i hate to bring this up but that type of stuff is what led to that person showing up at um Gavin and what's her face's house, uh, you know, while they were gone with a gun. There's and, like uh, so much information about you on this. Wow. Yeah. So uh, a lot, a lot of people entered that group with good intentions. Hey, I just want to, just want a fellow Dan Vass fans to talk with, but that cult behavior, it, it's like, it, it's, it's it, it's what it breeds cult like behavior that that turns the person to some, learn so some much sort of, about you just of, from this about section. And they, there's a lot of false information there too. Yeah, but, <clears throat> yeah. It says it says here that you love bagels. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? It was uh, Gavin Free and Meg Turney. Apparently, some guy was stalking Meg and showed up at their house with a gun and sat in their driveway and demanded yeah. to talk to her. Tried to break into the house. Yeah, it's scary stuff, man. Yeah. The, per the the personal information out there, like it's, it's scary shit, man. It's scary. Yeah, yeah, you need uh, and and, it, and it's Not like Brazil. it's a, it's a pattern that I've seen through the years. It happens often. The person finds my channel. She uh, the per I say she because it's often women or gay men. Uh, the person finds my channel. She doesn't know anything about heavy metal. She's not a heavy metal fan. She can't name a single heavy metal album, but she like, oh, pretty guy, gonna follow. And, and he, he, he like becomes obsessively attached to me. And she often makes 
makes up a personality and attributes that personality to me even though she doesn't know me and then she discovers that i'm not that person i don't have that personality that she invented for me and then that person becomes like the 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 most passionate well, it's hater. your fault the yeah it's my fault because yeah, I how disappointed dare them. you yeah, not be because, the perfect yeah. vision of you that i had and I, I don't see, make yikes. content for they discover that I don't make content for them for that sort of quote unquote fan. I make content for heavy metal fans, and I have no intention of feeding that. Only uh, fans. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so heavy metal fans know who I am and know the heavy metal culture and appreciate it, but those people don't know the heavy metal culture. And then when they see me acting as a heavy metal singer they get disappointed oh i didn't know you were like that yeah you don't know me so don't make up a personality and attribute it to me that's so those, the schizophrenia those, those person get disappointed and then they turn to the most passionate haters you will ever see it's it's a cycle i've seen it happen again and again and again and again and all those people come from that facebook group yikes, yikes. well um shit, man uh, it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy yeah. to say the least. Uh, new I power. I recorded, but I doubt it'll ever anything anything will come out of that. <laughs> says uh, with the ten pound super chest. Says Dan, you should get married. Then you get rid of all. Uh, get rid of half the crazy witches. Right? Nah, that won't that work. They'll all come after his wife. Yeah, that is, that's what I was gonna say. I did offer to marry Dan so we could move here. It wasn't sexual <laughs> though. For citizenship. You'd have, you'd have to live live. Far it wasn't away from sexual me. for for Dan. <laughs> Shane says, "All right, well, Dan. If you promise me you'll you'll cover time stand still by Blind, Gor Blind, oh, Blind Guardian, I promise to quit stalking you. <laughs> uh, taken. My wife walked walked in on me uh, sending you a skin to late skin to lating email. <laughs> Easy, Shane. Hey, just relax. That, time stand still by G Blind Guardian is actually very very feasible for me to cover. I'm a huge fan of Blind Guardian, so yeah, it's very possible." Matthew says, uh, I have streamer friends who started off as a viewer, then subscriber, then mod, and now we travel together and go to conventions together. Right. Like, there you go. Yeah, I was Craig's mod, for, and I've been around for 10 years. Yeah. We met, modded for 10 years, and mm -hmm. now we're I here. said, hey, if you got a job. <laughs> here we are. Abomination came in with the two two dollar uh, hater bucks for the Defend Blabs Nips Fund. <laughs> Thank you. Protect Blab's nipples. <laughs> which, which I'm sure I that will be. I think you like armored bra now. What? Yeah. What is a chastity belt for your boobs? I don't is know. It, is it still like a chastity belt? You're into or? fashion. What do they call it? I don't know. No? I don't care about boobs, dear. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> metal metal corset, maybe. I don't know. Like an armored corset. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Undead Bird came in with a prime sub over on Twitch uh, when we were talking about bagels. He says, you had me at everything bagel. Thank you, Undead Bird. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, plate. And Diana <laughs> over on Rumble says, Adam, you as an ex-model should know better than most uh, most that you were presenting as a handsome man. So how did women approach you then uh, when you were there to be just that handsome? How did, uh, you know, so... When, What's the question? That's also a professional atmosphere, though. So it says, Adam, you very true. So your next model, right? Okay. And you, you were a handsome man. And did you have women approach you then? And like, I don't know, I, I, that's what you were there. To, you were paid to be like just handsome. So no, yeah, everyone there is. It's a it's a job. It's not. I, I don't know what people I, I think that the modeling world is so misunderstood by most people. Uh, they they see Zoolander and think they get it, All right? That that's that's what it's like. It's, it's very not like that. Uh, you know, I don't think I think I've had more gay guys hit on me in New York that during my modeling world than anything else. Um, what would than, you say like, is the women. biggest misconception? Well, hold on. I like how Travis. That's a good nodded. question. <laughs> that, that's an awesome question. And Dan, you can find out that answer. Uh on the 31st when our one-on-one -on -one interview with adam krigler where we dig into all <laughs> sorts go. all sorts of things including wow. modeling 
No, I, I nodded because Good gay job. men often assume male models are gay. They aren't 80% of the time, but they assume they are. GK came in and says, uh, I had a mod that was a controlling psycho a sociopath. Yeah. Sorry about that, GK. Tough to hear. It happens. Damn. Uh, speaking oh, of, I'm uh, sorry, man. <laughs> no, <just> <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we should we should touch on this just just for real quick. So I think it, you know a lot of people are are interested in in everything. Yeah, Travis, what'd you say when you when you popped in this morning? You you woke up and what? Oink oink. Yeah. No, <laughs> I I stepped into a pile of DSP shit and I didn't think I was good. That was going to happen again. It's amazing how this just always just kind of pops up out of nowhere. Sometimes you're just like binding your own day uh, and you go, oh shit, here we are. Adam, DSP just called you. A greedy pussy. Who? No. What? What are you talking <laughs> How about? How do you just... know that? <laughs> I just see it on Twitter 35 that, minutes ago. That is coming from DSP. DSP. Hold on. DSP called me a greedy pussy. Yeah. I need to see this for myself. I just put in the private chat. Got it. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my God! Let's see. Uh, it's been 36 minutes ago. Okay, we were going to talk about this, so let's let's talk about this. We have uh, this was brought up, and you were talking about how you were um, you were surprised that you weren't blocked by DSP, right? And this was oh this was kind of I, I think this kind of started with you blabs, right? Me? Yeah. Didn't you say you were you were so, somebody said they weren't like they're surprised they weren't blocked or something? I don't even know. Oh, that was uh, Adam. Okay, so he came out and he said, uh, well, I don't sit there block, uh, seeking out accounts to block if someone spans me with stuff uh, that ends up filling my feed with stuff from from haters. I, uh, from my haters, I block them. Been that way since, uh, since the day I signed up. I only use this for business purposes, so I can't have my feed clogged up with BS. And uh, you responded with this, for the record, I legit tried to offer you advice and interview you fairly. And... Uh, Phil says the interview was fair. I said it. I said it afterwards and ever since. Although that's apparently not the case. I don't even know. Uh, what wasn't was the shit fest you did the next day for profit when I wasn't there to defend myself. Insanely unprofessional because you saw money and couldn't resist instead of having me on again. Pussy shit for hater bucks. Which uh, once again I'd like to thank Hose Hose for his one ninety nine hater bucks. Thank you very much, Hose. Appreciate that. Um, and I I just simply just said. Hey, let's hash it out. We can do it live on your channel. Uh, so you can make all those hater bucks. And I stand by that. And I've said that to, you know, I've said that multiple times. Uh, but I guess this just happened. And you responded. Uh, you you quoted, quoted what he was saying about the interview being fair. Uh, you said, I gave my honest opinion on the interviews. Everything I said. Well, I'll tell you. I'll let you read this in your voice. Why am I reading this? <laughs> look, I know you. Look, just roll with it. I'll read it. I'll read it. It's fine. I gave my honest opinion on the interview. Everything I said, I would have said to your face. In fact, I pretty much did during the interview. The only difference was I was talking about the interview. I left. I didn't get to like talk to Craig. I didn't talk to the rest of the crew about the interview. We were reading the super chats from the day before. A lot of the shit drudged a bunch of the stuff up. Uh, uh, you're just upset because it didn't paint you in a good light, which is why he said he came on the show. I'm here to answer all the questions and debunk all this bullshit to prove for once and all that my haters are wrong, the detractors are wrong. Uh, let's get it all out in the open. That's what you said. That's what he said. That's what DF DSP said. That was the whole point. So it didn't make him look good. People were like, holy shit, that interview. I didn't know what was going to happen. Like, I, I, I have had no idea. So then I said, well, let me ask you something. If you didn't make any money, would you still do your show? Isn't that kind of the point? Like, that's why people do YouTube. Like, sure, yeah. If you don't love it, why are you doing it? Yeah, you, you should learn to love your job. Like, I'm not saying that, that it's just money. And he responds, yet yeah, you didn't say it to my face. Yes, I did, DSP. And Craig tried to offer some way to us to be able to communicate again. And you bailed on it because it was easier to just make everyone assume that you're the victim there. Anyway, uh, so we gave you a chance to rebuttal. Your words mean nothing. I don't give a fuck if you care about my words. 
Uh, I was on YouTube for two and a half years before monetization of gameplay and would continue to stream if I won the lotto. Unmonetized because I love it. Because right, you yeah. like attention. Good for you. Good, Yeah, good for you. Uh, you, however, are a greedy pussy who bullies for cash. Oh my God, DSP, I have yet to bully you. So, dude, I, I don't even like Travis calling you a pig because I've never done that. I've never actually attacked you. I actually try to help you and offer you advice that would actually help propel you. Same with what Keem was trying to do. He was trying to give you a fucking a, a alley-oop to a, a level two because you're stuck on level one. And, and you're calling me a greedy pussy? Like, if I was a greedy pussy, I would probably still be licking Tim Pool's boot for, for money. I didn't want the money. I didn't give a fuck about the money. I would rather struggle on my own and be happy in life than have a guaranteed existence. Like, sure, that's easy. But fuck that shit. Like, you don't know me at all. And it's clear to me here. Oh, I'm I'm not going to respond to this because that's... That's, uh, for lack of better words, some pussy shit. So that's all I have to say about that. I, I think it's just fascinating to hear a guy who it, it's almost like calling the, you know, the pot calling the kettle black, right? Like looking at it, it can't yeah. hold up a mirror. And to say that you are critical of him, once again, the, it goes back to the interview of, I, I think the only thing that we did was present facts, present, present data, right? And, you know, all that was fair up until the next day. What the fuck do you expect us to do the next day? We're going to talk about what this five hour interview that blew up the Internet. What do you like? What the fuck do you expect us to do? Right. Stop and everyone was asking us about it. Right. Everyone what? was super chat. Like, how dare? No, no, no. How dare you chat? How dare you super chat us about that? How dare you ask us questions about this Silver. huge five hour long interview that we did with this fucking jackass? How dare they? How dare they support us? Oh, the fucking nerve. We should have just not accepted their money, Craig. The idea of, of well, you can't... You you, hold on, hold on, Trav. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, I, idea, the idea that you could be have your, your, your head so far up your ass that you cannot... You, you say, hey, you're not allowed to talk about me if I'm not there. What the fuck is that about? Like... Once again, we can't talk about. We can't. I believe decompress. that's uh, that that's uh, delusions of, of of grandeur. You mean grandeur? Grandeur. Grandeur. Delusions Dor. of grandeur. Um. Grandor. By the way, the night before, at so after the five hour stream, he went live and talked about it. So exactly. it's okay. For I'm him, pissed. Him to hey. go live and talk about it with his audience, but we can't the next day talk about it with ours maybe he shouldn't have went live and talked about it with his audience and he should have emailed us or called us or whatever to invite us on his show to talk about it didn't even reach out once didn't even say he was going to talk about us or me and every other time that he's brought us up hasn't emailed once how inconsiderate can you possibly but, be making money off that every single day, every time you bring me up and bring my name up and I just disregard it, right? You haven't reached out once, Phil. Man, that's some pussy bully shit right there, isn't it? Uh, like I said this morning, he has only child syndrome. And this is not an insult to all only children because they don't all do this. The ones that were raised right don't do this. But the ones that weren't raised right think the world is all about them. You know, their mom does her hair until they're 26, like DSP, uh -uh, um, stuff like that. They think the world, we're all there for him. We're all here for you, Phil. That's, that's it. We were there to facilitate you. No, that's not how it works. We're all individuals. We all have our own things, our own wants. We're not all here to service Phil all day long. Let me say this. Phil, if you fucking talk about this on your level one podcast without reaching out to me personally and sending me an email, because that's the only way you communicate, you're a giant fucking hypocrite. And if a single word comes out of your mouth talking about this right here without us being on your show, go fuck right off. I'm tired of this. Oh, and by the way, mentioning the email stuff, 
um, when Keem called you for about $50,000, you were busy. You couldn't stop and pause the stream to go answer. But when you needed to email Craig to verify your information, see if the email was safe and how soon he'd check it, he needed to do it fucking immediately. Drop his kids, drop his work, and answer that fucking email immediately for DSP. But Keemstar, fuck him. I just want to say something. Hello, DSP chat. Subscribe to Dan Vask. <laughs> Head on over there. Go subscribe to Dan. So check out his his new gameplay channel. Go subscribe to Dan Vest gameplay channel. Hey, but let me let me say this. Let me say this. The offer is there. I will gladly go on his channel. I will gladly. He can air out whatever grievance he he has with me. I don't I don't know if Adam has any issue, but I it doesn't matter. You I can have talk zero to interest. Cool. Don't do it. You can talk to me. You can yell at me all you want. You can make all your fucking money you want, right? But it's not about money, is it? Is it? Then why are you so fucking upset about us making any money doing our job? Fucking I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it for money. <laughs> I'll do it. I'd love yeah, man, to talk every, to Phil. Every time someone tries to shame people for making money, I know that that person is a, is a retard because that is a very fundamental flawed shaming tactic because everybody needs to make money. Unless you're, you know, want to be communist. Yeah, I was going to say. That is before, socialist before, bullshit. Before, before you actually learn about actual communism. Yeah, but that is socialist bullshit. That I agree. Trying to shame, shame making money, trying to mm -hmm. shame that is socialist bullshit. That's what it yep. is. No, he was he wasn't mad about the money. He was mad. He thought yes, it was, was. $20,000 is what he was mad about. He mad, was mad it was so much money when it wasn't. It was $2,000. And then he thought the next day they were all new chats. So he thought that was all new money. No, that was the money from the prior day, dumbass. You know what, you pig fucker? Keep talking about us. Keep talking about us because every fucking time... Your audience comes over. Everybody who hates you comes over. They want to see what we have to say. So keep talking about us. Welcome on in. Hey, guess hey. what? We'll take those hater bucks. Fucking send them on in. Support side scrollers. Go to patreon.com slash side scrollers and monetize the hate, you motherfucker. God, I'm tired of this <laughs> shit. I am so tired of this shit. You know oh he's going God. to react to this live, right? That's no, he why can't. I addressed... Until... He can't. That's he why can't. I addressed Until he reaches out to me. Until DSP he reaches chat. out to me. Not just DSP you, chat. Craig. Hello. How are he you guys doing? He's going to say hi. He, got, he has to get our permission. All, all of us. Our... He has to reach out to all of us because we're all on here. Hey, man, you, you didn't block me on Twitter. Let's be friends. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Subscribe to Dan Vass. <laughs> Go subscribe to Dan. Don't be a stalker, though. <laughs> Don't stalk him. Because then he'll just yell at me instead. Imagine being Dan, I, I believe DSP you got a, 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 a message. Someone just sent you a message on uh, Twitter. Oh shit! Yeah, I saw that too. Check, check your, uh, just want to let you know what your your Twitter DMs. Just to tweet it. Just, not, not not DM. It's just straight up public. It needs to be. It needs to be said. Mm. Hey, Dan, Dan, you're looking great today. Huh? Thank you. There's nothing <laughs> in my DMs. It's not in your That's DMs. Not, check just, your just, notifications. Is it Dan Vask two? Or yes. did you get Dan Vask one back? <laughs> no, I still I still haven't. Oh, it's Dan Vask one. Oh, shit. No, no, no. It's Dan Vask two. I know I sent it to Dan Vest. I meant someone sent it to Dan. I, well, I don't know who it was. Adam doesn't know what day it is anymore. It's too many Dan Vest Twitter accounts. Mm -mm. All right. Oh my God. Extra zero. Don't look at those yet. It, skip. Skip. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, don't do that. All right. Bad just Dan. Show, just, show the me. Just, just show me here. What is it? Hmm? Bad Dan. What do you guys want me to see? Just show me here. I'll do it here, Dan. Dan, I did all I did was I just tweeted at you and told you you looked really nice today. That's all. Oh. I'll just let you know. So like, is it it's because when I when I post shit, when I shit talk on Twitter, my my notifications just blow up. I love it. Uh all I right. also want to say real quick before we, we should do the memes and move on. Oh, I see uh, you. Thank you. But, but before we do, <laughs> I just want to say shout out to all the people that chose wisely and picking me as their zombie yeah, uh, apocalypse partner because you know you, you're gonna survive a lot more with my skill set all right over all of these guys up here all right you don't know my skills i'm really great at tripping sure. over stuff okay yeah 
That's great. I'm so, really great at talking people into doing things. I, all yeah, things I don't want to have to help you with zombies. Zombie uh, I can get all the survivors and have them protect me. <laughs> Listen, I can shoot. I can run. Um, I out can of, fall a lot too, but you know. Out of 332 votes, 65% will survive in the apocalypse. Yeah. I want to point out me. I was the second and, most choice. So and I'm okay Adam with that. Prigler actually, is gonna that is a lie. All of you. What? It is Did Craig. It it's Craig with fifteen percent. <gasps> Labs with fourteen percent. And I've Travis been with demoted in the last five, five minutes. Wow. Are, are, you know, I find that homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, victim card. Victim card. Get the fuck out of here. That victim card. That's so awful. Oh, Craig just overtook me in the last five minutes. I was winning. I voted for YouTube Labs. Oh, um, I would say, out of all of us, I've had the roughest life. So, um, how do you oh, know? I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, keep, keep How do you know that? I'm so how do you sorry. I'll show my email inbox. The victim card. I'll show my email inbox. Huge. Him. Look how big his victim Labs card is. Knows. Wow. It is we, about this big. You know, I, no, I can see it from here. What are we talking out about? My window. Hey, I, I just felt. I we have a. I'm going to conceptualize this. I'm going to conceptualize a card game called Victim Card. And it's all about oppression. <laughs> and like how, oh, hey, God. I bet you it would sell like a game. I'm never going to play that game. <laughs> that would be great. Hey, let's read off some of these uh, super chats here. Thank you very much. Random with the uh, $1 super chat. Thank you very much. Um, Wiley Dave says, social media is, I guess, our downfall. All I put on my Facebook is music videos for me. Dan, when are you and Beardo gonna finish playing Halo? That was fun to watch. You guys yeah, are very we funny and entertaining. That Halo Two. We 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 were you are planning to do the entire Halo single player franchise campaigns, and we need to finish Halo Two. It's been you fun. You got to. You should. I've been playing Halo Two also. Well, Halo Two, not Halo Two. I Devin as came well. in. First ever super chat. Just wanted to say hi, Devin. That's awesome. Hi. Let's go. First ever super chat. Greatly You're appreciate longer it. Longer version. Devin, outstanding. Congratulations. That's awesome. And uh, Brahma Noodles came in and says, I'm currently exchanging my hard earned dollars to hater bucks. The new, cur the new, the new reserve currency. DSP is just upset because he couldn't, uh, he couldn't attempt damage control. That interview was epic. You guys rock. Oh, hey, he pre attempted. Appreciate those hater bucks. Uh, Brahma Noodle. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Oh my god, I'm I'm st I'm still hot, man. I'm still hot, driving me freaking crazy. It's I got, human. It's ridiculous. Uh, Salty Source Rex came in with a twenty dollar super chat. Says, "Is it too late to donate to save Blabs from Dan's wicked DSP? <laughs> <laughs> miserable low low cow. Never. I need some chain mail. <laughs> Gotta protect the boobs. <laughs> yeah. Obsidian Sinclair came back. Says, "If you feel like watching that meltdown video, it's it's the one on Meerkat Mob from." 10 days ago the viewer was named lavinia maybe i'll do that uh on a separate I don't feel like stream. it i yeah. actually watch meerkat mob i find it humorous you should you should live stream it craig I, maybe i should maybe i should maybe i will hater bucks man maybe hater, i will tonight apparently Phil hater, is hater going bucks. live right now so i'm sure we can look forward to his bullshit in about 10 minutes who the fuck cares uh cerebrus uh cerberus came in with the 199 thank you so much greatly appreciate that and finally dylan came in with the five pound super chat says he had a 15 year old kid who was a fan doing work for him and he banned him because he wanted to get paid for his work and called him a detractor by the really? way that's a federal crime and if if dsp has ever spoken to him about that work that kid is owed back pay uh all that time that he worked with him and he's that owed for more back this. pay until the moment he is paid. He gets a day of pay for every day he wasn't paid. Wow. Yikes. Oh my God. Well, he, right. he admits crimes live. So yeah, true. And, he, you know, tax fraud. Uh, I look, yeah. brain. Right. I will go on his stream literally right now. And we could just get this done with. Oh, you know, I'm just saying, like, I, I will do it right now. I like I love Blads versus Sonic, but I would love to get done with this bullshit and just, 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 I would love it. So it'll never be done, Craig. I know that's the thing, but I swear to God, if he's talking about this right now, I swear to God, without, without, without a single email, I'm going to check. I'm going to check to make sure he's emails. And if he doesn't, check your emails oh, in man, timely fashion. Ridiculous. Small pee -pee. And if he did, then tell us so we can check ours. Yeah, I'll make sure D you guys get it. I don't think DSP has 
has DS my email address. Well, he better find it. He better <laughs> fucking DS, find that's, it. That's a that's a what is called a really like a micro PP. <laughs> yeah. It's a DSPP. Mm -hmm. Hey, that guy instead of micro penis from now on. Hey, that guy has a DSPP. DS, DSPP. <laughs> oh, you got, you sound gonna, like you have a DSPP. He's not gonna like this guy. Yeah, you guys are just giving him giving him <laughs> ammunition right now. You treated me so wrong. <laughs> Somebody donated $10. It's a, it's a normal condition to have. Come on. True. A small PB? A a the motion of the ocean, all right? <laughs> Not the size of the boat. D if it's DSP a cold day, day for displacement. It's, you know? it's a normal condition. Hey, Hose, who says, uh, Dan, if you were to get with you to US, what state? Probably Florida because they say it's the state that has the like the climate and everything. It, it, it feels the, the most uh like brazil. brazil yeah like brazil extra zero says uh dsp well damn small damn PP. small pp <laughs> oh, that's what dspp stands for yeah that's right yeah. i don't even know why would you even think it otherwise <laughs> uh shiny king says who cares about phil i have chicken and rice get on my level i love go. chicken chicken and rice all right so did dsp wank us dspp ah! um ah! all right <laughs> <laughs> Diana has a follow-up for you, Adam says. Okay, follow-up. Adam, uh, that is what I mean. You're able to put out there to be handsome. So how are people supposed to act towards you or others in that profession? Since well, you're so I, handsome. Yeah, but again, to not to reiterate the whole conversation, but it was about understanding the person that you're communicating with. Like for me... Are there like ducks Brazilian flying by? Birds? What the? What the? What the? <laughs> it's I hear Adam. Ducks too. It's Adam on his perch. <laughs> no, did you? <laughs> yeah, just like I hear ducks too. Those were like, like seagulls. Like I computer. heard that. You heard the seagulls? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a What's fucking kazoo orchestra out there. Oh, it's here. I mean, it's actually yes, here. Yes, it's you. It's you <laughs> yeah. and your Brazilian birds. <laughs> it's Adam. Adam on his perch. He's There's like the duck outside. in the video. Don't we don't have, look out there though, Dan. Really, here in Brazil we have those really noisy parrots <laughs> that are called maritacas. Those okay, are now, parrots. This is the police. That sounds uh, like they're police. coming after you yeah. for the wicked. They're going no, to the, straight have, to the we favelas. Have, we have those really big favelas. parrots here in Brazil that are so so noisy. Sometimes I hear them on my brother's live stream. It's like they're everywhere. It's so I, funny. we heard them. They, yeah, <laughs> they were loud. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're supposed uh, to live like 80 years. So there's a couple live the, the, that lives here in my backyard. They've been here like since I was a kid. Cool. Hey, CEO came in and says, it's okay, DSP. I have an innie too. <laughs> <laughs> CEO, cool. thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right, let's get to these memes. Hold on, right. I didn't answer Diana's question. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. interrupted <laughs> by some, some rude-ass Brazilian bird. <laughs> uh, some Brazilian parrots. Uh, all right, well... That I'm very confident. I don't need validation from others. It's it's a rare quality that I feel more more people need. So if someone compliments my looks, I, I think they must be crazy because I mean <laughs> I don't really uh, do much anymore. Not that I ever did. It was always like the hairstylists and the, you know the, the cameras uh, that did all the work. Um, so I don't know. It's like it's whatever. Like I don't really care. No one compliments me on my looks. Any like that's not a thing. It was rarely a thing when I was modeling. It wasn't very, the only, oh, my wife is the only one, you know, and it's usually when I take my glasses off, and she's like, oh, I can see your eyes again. And that's usually when I, when I get the compliments. So I don't know. I mean, I don't care if someone says it. No one's sliding into my DMs, probably because I'm very vocal about uh, my wife and my life here. And I, I don't know, maybe uh, I don't have, you know, ma a magical uh, metal uh, vocal range. <laughs> Uh, that s some people have. Uh, I've got my own vocal range. You know, I am a musician. I, I do sing, but uh, yeah, hey. not, uh, I don't sing to the Wiccans out there. So, <laughs> Adam, I, I a good thing. Let, Adam, I just want to let you know you look really great today. Hey, I I feel uh, very uncomfortable Creep. right now. I did uh, tell I'm, you have nice I'm going to need to call before. HR. Can yeah, we well, play? that's fine because oh. you know I don't Is think it? it's creepy from you, but from him. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Look at that look. I right. um, found a clip <laughs> of what Adam goes through outside Dan's window. Can we play that, please? It's in the front. Oh, oh. You have a clip? Is this, is this a yeah. meme? It's like Are 20 we... seconds long. Is this, is this live? Uh, is this actual uh, footage of 
Yeah. No, it's what Adam goes through outside Dan's house. Okay. How would you know? How would you know? I think it's more, uh, you know, Let's the watch it, damn it. The kettle black. A, a recreation. Here we go. All right. Indeed. What the fuck did we just watch? I I thought she was going to sneeze. Yeah, I'm not a bird, a damn it! Like what? I'm a man, all right, a stalker man, all right. You have killed Travis. <laughs> I what demand you... respect. Look at him. Yeah. There's a tomato over there. What? Some rude Brazilian parrot. Animorph? <laughs> no! Her face was so funny. She was like... Jeez. You but you know what? Adam... Props to that actress for really witch. going full in on the role. Right? Oh, Look at Travis. No, no, Travis, you keep, you keep your camera up. Keep it up. You, you keep your camera this. up. Come you back keep that tomato, tomato face on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking looking Dude. like a watermelon over there. God damn. <laughs> All right, let's go and re let's go look at some of these memes over here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Kirby. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a watermelon. <laughs> look at Kirby on the wall. Look at his face. He does. He matches. He does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this one from Extra Zeros. Says can't wait for the Lifetime original movie about Dan Vaskin as stalker. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Mayo, Mayo and man, and buns, man buns, the stocking of Dan Bass. <laughs> Mayo and man buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that's good. And I'll tell you this What's right now. What's with Adam's mouth? Donut, you don't want to know. I think it's his lip or his tongue. Look, if you really want to know, just wait for the weekend. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Unlock, uh, keep that window unlocked. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, no. Okay, I'm going to just say this right now. This, this one may be... It's not even like really a meme, but this is one of the funniest fucking things I think I've ever seen from Extra Zero. It says conspiracy theories, obsession with the unknown, extreme distrust in the government. Now the orange hat. It all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, you know it's really sad because the the guy just died who who voiced him. They were oh. going to bring it back. Oh um, my god! That, that's fantastic. Hold on, I got. I need to share that ASAP. It's fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. And we got this one from Jonathan Davis says the retro gaming police. Let's go. There ah. it is right there. <laughs> wow. Love that. I'll join the force. I'll join the force. Let's go. We I'll get just this go from... and shit talk Craig the entire Holy time. shit, there's so many memes today. I know, it's <laughs> awesome. Extra Zero says, Adam Krigler teaching Dan Bask about all the regional donuts. These are the uh, regional donuts we have here. Very nice. <laughs> Look, oh, I'm that's... so happy. Why did you have to make me Hillary Clinton, dude? I had nightmares <laughs> about that woman. Soup. Oh my God! It says, uh, and this for extra zero says, when navigating around stalkers, Dan Vasquez always uses his noodle. I really love your content so much that I would love for you to put a baby. In me, my nipples will fall off. My penis would turn into a noodle. It turns into hey, bleach. That makes Actually. it easier for her to slurp it up, buddy. Ah! <laughs> noodle, you know. Pla <laughs> I do, I was, <laughs> the hand. <laughs> oh my god! Somewhere uh, out there, there's there's a witch coven that is like, which one of you taught him that? Which one of you taught him that? Uh, the we beans. agreed not to teach him anything <laughs> until we got the leech. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> oh my god! Who was it? Then we, then we got this one from Extra Zero says Dan's DM next week. Ah, <laughs> I go. wish you'd like wish. Elvira, Elvira with Adam's face on it. Adam, Adam, Elvira, look at that. Look at those boobs, man. Love it. Hey, love it. Nine out of ten. They're all natural. Then we have uh, this <laughs> from Extra Zero it says when Adam finally does attack DSP for my transgression. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that? I think that's it. Is that all of them? Yeah, no. that's it. That's I, all oh, I got. Okay, I saw right. a lot more, but they're all DSP. Uh, I wasn't tagged on side scrollers then. Because right. they're they're just DSP stuff. It's, <laughs> I don't okay. I don't want to spend any more energy on him. Like well, I don't fucking care. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I was trying to be nice. 
I was like, wow, I'm shocked that he did. they were talking about uh, everyone blocking them. And I was like, I'm surprised DSP never blocked me. And then DSP actually responded to me, which I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, hey, for the record, you know, I actually was trying to be nice. Like, hey, you know, just for the record, I was just trying. And he was like, uh, it wasn't that. <laughs> it was you being an asshole the next day, jackass. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I was trying to be nice. And he was like, oh, no, I don't want you to be nice. You're an asshole kind of vibe. I'm gonna say this right it now. didn't didn't matter what any of us said the next day. We would have been assholes because it was his community got to him and changed his mind. Look, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Blabs, I had every intention of doing Blabs versus Sonic today, and I love that idea. But after this, I'm going to go live on this ah. channel, and I'm just going to wait until Dark Side Phil invites me on his show so we can hash this out. <laughs> yes. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. You should watch title, the title of the stream like waiting for DSP. I will absolutely. I'm just, <laughs> just gonna sit sit here and wait. I'm gonna sit here just like this. You should and wait, you wait should, till I get an email. I would live stream you watching his show and then no, talk shit about him no, the whole time. No, nope. no, nope. we I'm, do have one. Meme I'm the main one to expand here. Expand on from extra zero. So that's got, the full meme. Oh, okay. Here it is. I was I was notified multiple times. I had to share this to oh, you. So okay. now. He I was gonna say help. it didn't really he make used, sense. He used I help o you, face. extra zero. I help you, man. That's his O face. Love it. Love it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> awesome. All right. Love the it. The fact that the whole internet knows what DSP's O face <laughs> like is wonderful. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, that is it. We got a couple more super chats before we finish up. Gamer guy says, uh, I'm more fascinated by the fact YouTube hasn't booted Phil altogether. He insults his viewers and wonders why no one is giving uh, no one is giving them money. That's interesting, gamer guy. I don't know. I don't know. You got to take it up with them. And Jeremy's non-existent eyebrows says DSP's behavior is terminally pathetic. He just keeps digging himself deeper over the smallest things. Take my money. Thank you so much, Jeremy's non-existing eyebrows. Appreciate those hater bucks. So there we are. Man, oh man, Wednesdays are fun. Adam, I love having you on. Dan, I appreciate your bravery and talking about your your uh, your stalker situation. About me. Talking about me. So. <laughs> it's wonderful. Respect. Major um, respect. He's going to be cooking outside your house tomorrow. So if you want a broad or something, go ahead and go on outside. Man, let's go. <laughs> Um, we have one last Dan's rumble. Like, I'm done. Dan's like, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> he literally just left. I love it. Uh, uh, Diana says the questions I ask is because is because it helps the crazies. Uh, maybe uh, the question I have asked is because it helps the crazies, not to be so crazy and try to be more normal in those in the public eye. I Diana, you that. you're not a crazy one, so. You've never given any of those kind of vibes, so you don't have yeah. anything to worry about. She gives the sweet, nice vibes. Yes, for sure. Definitely. Absolutely. All righty. Uh, I'll be back very shortly, and I'm just going to sit here and fucking wait. If you're looking for gameplay, nope. If you're looking for any, nope. Mm -mm. I may sit uh, here. I'll be, I'll be gaming tonight on my channel on Rumble and Locals. Where you can. I've been playing. I started Division 2. Ooh. I never played. I never finished the campaign, and I love the Division 1. And uh, I, yeah, I really, I'll be playing through the campaign of Division Two. So right. come right. check it out. Welcome back, Dan. <laughs> He's like, I'm back in the chat. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it is well, look, uh, Dan, appreciate right. you, buddy. And the Wiccan curse is is starting. You guys look, go. This is protect my nipples against Dan. Are, your nipples are fine still, right? Never mind. Don't answer that. That's a weird question. We're good. Uh, I don't okay. think he's leaving on purpose. He, he you know says, why I asked. It's not because I'm actually interested. What I know. What the fuck is happening we're bros. in the we're chat? Got this. So. We're, yeah, we're cool. Hey, once again, I will just say this. Uh, go subscribe to Dan's channel. He's a, such a great guy. Appreciate appreciate Dan for popping in. Stud. Uh, once again, I'll be back. I'm, uh, sh should I do it on this channel or the place channel? Probably this channel. This channel, Craig. Yeah. Craig, you have a beautiful smile. I'm really afraid. No, I take right it now. back. I, I oh. couldn't do it. Adam, right. you have glorious ears. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Once with the 499 says, Great stream, guys. Let's get out of here on that. You guys have a great afternoon. I'll see you guys shortly uh, when I'm here. Rumble waiting rants. To... I'm being tagged on YouTube saying uh, rumble rants. I have read every one that I've seen. Yeah. So we're good. Uh, oh, dude, dude has one says, 
Krigler going to be uh, become the bagel king of Brazil, sneaking up on people, giving them bagels like he's the BK king, giving them burgers. <laughs> Love that. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. All right. Oh, Dan's here. Dan, you get to say bye to everybody. Adam's messing with my cables here. It's, it's like, stop. <laughs> Let's go. Hard no news. hard news. <laughs> I was going to say, Adam's outside your house with hard news. Uh oh. <laughs> Gross. He's just All right. on your cable. Travis on the got couch. it. All right. Got some hard let's, news for let's you. Cut it. People are going to try to keep it out. Don't let me. You guys got to go. Go get.